Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Welcome to our first Sims 4 Big Brother Challenge. I've been excited about doing this for a long time. For a long time I've wanted to do uh, a Sims 4 Big Brother Challenge. We did a Bachelor Challenge on Sims 4 a couple of months back and I've been really excited about doing a Big Brother Challenge. But in order to do the Big Brother Challenge well, uh, I needed to get all of the expansion packs and all of the material for the Sims 4. All the downloads, all the packs all the game stuff, everything, uh, so that I could easily do any of the challenges and anything I needed for a Big Brother challenge. Um, so we've been doing that for the last couple of months, and now we're up to speed. We have uh, everything that we had hoped for, uh, so now we're ready to go and ready to start up the challenge. Um, I'm using the rules for the Big Brother challenge that um, uh, Holly BBTV uh, has used. Uh, so we're using her game rules uh, to do our Big Brother challenge. Uh, I'm going to be re referring to that uh, back and forth uh, through the game. And uh, yeah, over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be seeing we've taken a bunch of Sims uh, based off of our subscribers or people who have subscribed to the channel. We put them in a house together and we're going to see who is the the sole last winner of the Big Brother Challenge. And whoever's Sim uh, ends up winning the game, they're actually also going to get a prize from me uh, from the channel as well. So I'm excited to do this. Really excited to share it with all of you at the same time. Let's meet, let's meet our contestants for the game. Let me bring this up here so you can see my screen. And uh, <laughs> my boy's doing something in the background there. All right, let's meet the contestants for our challenge. Panda Peasant, thank you for the host, brother. Thank you for being here. Panda Peasant Sim is one of our competitors for the contest. Here he is, this is Panda Peasant Sim, modeled off of our sub, uh, Panda Peasant. Uh, Panda's characteristics are, let's see, he is uh, a geek, he's good, he's active, and he's a quick learner. I'm doing well, Panda. How about you? How are you doing today? Right beside him, we've got Shotgun Simark. Shotgun Simark over here is right beside him. Shotgun Simark, she is a geek, she's creative, she's a goofball, and she has a, a large affection for animals. Secret Agent Panda. That's right, Panda Peasant Sim. We, Panda Peasant, we made him a secret agent in our subworld. Right over here beside Shotgun Simark is Boho Glitch Sim. Boho Glitch Sim, modeled off of uh, my own wife, Boho Glitch. She's a dance machine. She's creative. She loves the outdoors, and she's a muser. She gets inspired when she boosts her skills. Your arch nemesis, Sim. Oh my goodness. There's already uh, a competition going on here. Right beside Boho Glitch Sim, we have Steve L.A. Sim. This is modeled off of my friend uh, Steve L.A. Steve L.A. Sim is a foodie. He enjoys his food. He's cheerful. He's outgoing and he's gregarious. He's a bit of a social guy. His aspiration in life is to hold a lot of big parties. So he's a big social sim looking forward to be hanging out with the other contestants in the show here. Right beside Steve L.A. Sim, we have GB Simulation, based off of my friend Go Burns, who's a fellow streamer. He streams over on YouTube. GB Simulation is a geek. He's got a lot of geeks in the in the in this Big Brother Challenge. I should have named this uh, Big Brother Challenge the Season of Geeks. It should have been the name of this uh, contest. GB is a geek. He's active. He's a genius, and he's a quick learner. He picks up things fast. He could be a challenge in the Big Brother contest. Right beside him, we've got War 
Bunny. Modeled off of my friend War Bunny with an amazing mustache. Hey Shotgun, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. War Bunny here. We don't know if War Bunny actually has this mustache in real life, but we gave it to his sim anyways. One of my subscribers. Uh, he's a bookworm. He's ambitious. He's also a goofball, but he's also a quick learner. He's a quick study. Right beside War Bunny, we've got Gary Raxer Sim, based off of my friend and fellow Twitch streamer, Gary the Raxer. Fabulous beard, fabulous Scottish beard that he's sporting. War Bunny, another enemy of mine. Yeah, Panda's got a few of his uh, nemeses in this Big Brother challenge. Gary is active, he's outgoing, he's a goofball, he has a high metabolism, given that his aspiration in life is to become a bodybuilder. That's his big hope in life. Again, we don't know if Gary uh, wants that in real life. We just thought it'd be funny to make his sim a bodybuilder. Right next to Gary, we have Lemley Lemming Sim. Lemley Lemming Sim is a romantic. She's neat. She's a geek and she's alluring. Given her, I think her aspiration is to meet the ones at her aspiration. Soulmate. She wants to meet a, uh, a she wants to have a soulmate. Um, you know what? I think she might actually still be... I might have to fix her relationship. She might still be a spouse of uh, Shotgun Simark. Uh, Sim on not. Oh. She doesn't. How come it says here she has a boyfriend or a girlfriend? <laughs> Delete relationship. Okay, that's really weird. That's really weird. Um, says she has a boyfriend or a girlfriend. She shouldn't, because we just started off brand new. Okay, anyways. Anyways. Let me make sure she knows, uh, the shotgun sim arc on here. Yep. Nope. Okay, very good. Peanut Plays is here. Peanut, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. So these are our contestants. These are the eight contestants for season one of Big Brother. Let's go over here and take a look at the house, the place that will be the abode and the home of our Sims for the next few weeks. Here's the the main entrance. We'll show you the, the main outside of the house. This is the Big Brother house here. You can see we've got a big backyard out here, a little bit of a patio, a pool, some workout machines. We've got some yoga mats. A uh, punching bag. We got some laundry machines just to keep things clean. We got a nice little hot tub here with, of course, a strategically placed security camera. This is Big Brother, so we have to keep a view on anyone and everyone that's doing things in this house. We got a foosball table out here, and this kind of courtyard area here. This is where we're going to be putting all the various rooms for the competitions uh, that they do throughout the course of the game. Downstairs here is our main entrance. We've got a couple of these sealed off rooms, which I'm not sure what we're gonna use these for eventually, but over here to the left of the main entrance is the have not room. At random points during the game, three, uh, one, two, or three Sims are gonna be selected randomly to be have nots. They will be people who can only sleep on these benches uh, and can only eat applesauce all day long. So if you're a have-not, if you become a have-not randomly, it's a little tough to uh, get ahead in the challenges. Over here we have the kitchen slash main eating room, which already has food on it. I'm not sure why. Uh, we got a kitchen with a nice little fridge here. We got an ice cream maker and a popcorn maker, which will be really popular with our Sims. We got a couple of slablets here for them to use. This is kind of the main socializing area. Over here we've got the kind of main bathrooms and showers of uh for the household we got a little central meeting room here where i think we're going to do our votes for eviction and such got some beds over here just various places where our sims can sleep we got some kind of christmas themed uh room going on over here and another bedroom over this way and again we got these security cameras all through the house because it is big brother Got to keep a tab on what all of our sims are doing. Um, upstairs here, we've got a little chess table, a little chess uh, going on here. And this is the head of household room. So 99 out of 1 pandas will survive this challenge. Nice panda. It's a good chipper outlook. 
Up here we've got the uh, the head of household room. So random points throughout the game. One sim will be the head of household. And they get this entire area. They'll be the only ones who have access to this area. They get a nice comfy bed. They get their own closet. They've got their own bathroom with a tub. Shower. Their own toilet. Nice little... Uh, walk on uh, walk in bathroom uh, attached so yeah being the head of household is good because you can't be evicted and you get access to the best luxuries in the house so that's the house this is where the uh big brother challenge is going to take place let's go back over to our sims and now we got to go through a little bit of a tedious process what we're going to do here is we're going to give each of our sims uh particular skill levels so they don't all start off at zero or one in their skills in order to keep things competitive and kind of make things interesting uh, through the Big Brother Challenge we're gonna randomly give them anywhere from one to ten in a particular uh, skill so that there'll be some variety some of them will be good at some things not so good at other things and it could make a difference in the uh, competition as that all takes place so let's go through our sims and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a little program here called Sims 4 Challenge Roller a little program uh, I picked up again it was recommended by Holly BB's uh, 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 Big Brother challenge Holly BB TV by the way guys definitely go and check her out uh, in fact let me put uh, her link in the uh, in the chat here just so if you if you're not following her yet you can go and check her out twitch.tv slash Holly BB TV uh, the originator of the Big Brother Challenge here, definitely please go check out her channel. So we're going to do some rolling here now. Um, so it's basically a, a random roll of 1 to 10 uh, for each of their challenges. So I'm just going to pick one uh, skill. Just if you see it always saying archaeology, doesn't mean I'm doing all their archaeology skills. It's just a regular roller that goes 1 to 10. And uh, here we go. Let's start with Panda Peasant Sim. Let's see what Panda Peasant Sim is good at. Let's... He has no skills right now. Let's bring up MC Command Center. This is the program that we use to uh, change everyone's skills. Okay, fitness. Panda has a fitness skill of nine. He's gonna have a fitness skill of nine. That's gonna be nice. Have mixology. He'll have a mixology of six. Panda with mixology skill six. Comedy. Comedy. He's gonna have ten. Panda is a comedian. He makes everybody laugh. Let's roll for his charisma. Charisma is gonna be seven. Over there and there. Gardening. Panda's gardening is gonna be five. He's an okay gardener. He's a decent, decent gardener. Gourmet cooking. It's gonna be a nine. Panda is an amazing gourmet cook. Guitar. His guitar skill is going to be six. So he's going to... Oh, no, 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 no. So he's going to have a pretty good guitar skill. Pretty good with a guitar. Uh, programming. Four. Not his strongest skill. But he'll have... Uh, oh, why do I keep getting back? Programming for... Handiness. Handiness is going to be two. He's not very handy. Panda Peasant Sim is not going to be very handy. Cooking. Now this will be funny if he has a lower cooking skill than he does uh, gourmet cooking. Oh, five. Not too bad. A little better at his gourmet cooking than uh, normal cooking. Uh, logic. Panda is going to have a score of seven in logic. Mischief. Uh, nine. He's gonna have a nine in mischief. Okay, so he's he's good at the pranks. And painting's gonna be a seven. He's a good painter. Piano skills is five. Got some pretty uh, fairly decent high rolls for Panda here. Rocket science. Eight. Wow, Panda, you are going to be a rocket scientist here. Video gaming, nine! What is with all the high rolls? For Panda Peasant Sim, violin is ten! Whoa! He's a master violinist. 
Writing is one. <laughs> Finally, you got a low number there, Panda. He's not such a hot writer. Pet training. Pet training is going to be three. Give him that. Pipe organ. The all-important pipe organ. Seven. Be a fairly decent uh, pipe organ player. Wellness. This is for uh, yoga and uh, spas and massages. He's got eight. Herbalism. Panda's going to have a herbalism score of five. Baking. Panda's baking skill will be nine. Flower arranging. <laughs> One. Panda's not a great flower arranger. <laughs> Fishing. Nine. Whoa. A nine for Panda's fishing skills. DJ mixing. Six. Six for Panda and DJ mixing. Veterinarian. A three. Three in his... Oops. Three in his veterinarian skills. Photography. An eight. Panda's a fairly decent photographer, apparently. Singing. Let's see Panda's singing skills. An eight. An eight in singing for Panda. I'll get my mouse in order here. My mouse is giving me a hard time here. There we go. Uh, An archaeology. <laughs> You never know when these skills will come in handy. Archaeology 3. I'm a stand-up guy. I'm a VHS programmer. Pro VR violin gamer. Yes. <laughs> Next, Salvadoradian culture. Panda is a 10. He is an expert in Salvadoradian culture. Bowling. It's a 5. So he's pretty decent at bowling. Vampire lore. He's only got a two in vampire lore. He does not he's not really interested. Parenting skills. Panda's got a three in parenting. <laughs> parenting skills not all that great. Dancing! He's a seven. Is that bad? It's pretty good. And lastly, woohoo! Panda's skill level in woohoo is gonna be seven. That's pretty decent. That's a pretty decent uh woohoo skill level. Alright, panda peasants, skills are done. Let's move to Shotgun Simark. Let's see how she's doing on her skills. Uh, let's set her skills. Skill cheat, set skill. Fitness. Gets a seven. Shotgun gets a seven in fitness. Seven out of 10. Mixology, a four. Four out of 10 in mixology. Comedy. She gets a four. Four out of ten in comedy. <laughs> Charisma. She gets a five. Five out of ten in charisma. Gardening. She gets a ten. Ten out of ten for shotgun Simark in gardening. Gourmet cooking. She gets a five. Shotgun is a master. Master gardener, apparently. Um, hold on, what was that roll? Two! A two in guitar, so not that great of a guitar player. Programming. She gets an eight. She is a very decent programmer. Handiness. She gets a four out of ten in handiness. And cooking. She gets a six out of ten in Cooking. Oh yeah, no problem, Shotgun. We are doing your Sims skills. Logic, 10. 10 out of 10 logic for Shotgun Simark. And Mischief, 2. So she may be a uh, great at logic, but not so good at the mischief. Painting, she's a 7. 7 out of 10 on painting comes to piano, she's going to be a 6. 6 out of 10 on piano. 10 out of 10 rocket scientist, guys. 
10 out of 10 rocket science for Shotgun Simark. 9 out of 10 on video gaming. Wow. Violin. She gets a 3. 3 out of 10 on the violin. Writing. She gets a 9. Writing gets a 9 out of 10. She, her Sim's a great writer. Pet training. Now, animal affection is a big thing for her, but she only has a 3 out of 10 on pet training. <laughs> Pipe organ. And she has a 4 out of 10 on the pipe organ. There we go. Now I can condescend to others. It's not rocket science. That's right. Wellness. She's going to have a wellness score of 6. Herbalism. Shotgun's going to have a herbalism score of 6 as well. Baking gonna be eight she's gonna be a great baker baking is eight flower arranging ten if there's a flower arranger in the house it's gonna be shotgun simark her fishing score is gonna be five five out of ten DJ mixing is gonna be a five veterinarian again her being an animal affection sim uh, she's going to have two. Two out of ten being a, being a veterinarian. <laughs> uh, her photography skills going to be eight. She's going to be a good photographer. Singing. Her singing skills will be five. Five out of ten. And archaeology. She's going to be a five. Five out of ten on archaeology. Name brand Coca-Cola. Can you post a link? Uh, what's the link uh, for Coca-Cola? Shotgun Salvadoradian culture skill. Let's check it out. It's going to be a 2. 2 out of 10 on Salvadoradian culture. Her bowling skills. It's going to be a 9. She is a great bowler, guys. Vampire lore. It's going to be a 7. Fairly proficient in her knowledge about vampires. Her parenting skill. It's going to be five. Five out of ten on parenting. Dancing skill. It's going to be an eight. She's a great dancer. We're going to see some moves from her. Lastly, her woohoo skill. Will be seven. Seven out of ten. Woohoo skills. All right. Shotgun Simark is good to go. Let's go over to Lemley Lemming Sim and let's uh, build up her skills as well. Here, let me uh, clear all these these notifications. Alright, Lemley Lemming Sim skills. Here we go. Lemley's fitness skill will be one. <laughs> one out of ten. Good start, Lemley. Mixology. I mean, nine. She's a master bartender. Comedy. Comedy is going to be five. Five out of ten comedy for Lemley Lemming Sim. Charisma is going to be five. Ugh. Five out of ten for charisma. Gardening. Gardening is going to be seven. Seven out of ten for gardening. Gourmet cooking. Going to be seven. Seven out of ten for her gourmet cooking. Her guitar skills will be four. Uh, programming for Lemley will be three. Three out of ten programming. Handiness is a three. Oh, some low rolls for Lemley Lemmingsim here so far. And her cooking skill will be four. Four out of ten cooking skills. Lemley's logic skill will be ten out of ten. She's going to rival Shotgun for who's the most logical sim in the household. And she'll have a 
One out of ten on mischief. <laughs> she won't be very mischievous. Uh, painting will be four. Four out of ten painting. Her piano skill will be four. Four out of ten piano. Rocket science. Gonna be a nine. She's gonna be close to shotgun in her rocket science skills. Video gaming is gonna be a seven. Seven out of ten video gaming. Violin will be a two. Two out of ten. She's not so good at the violin. Her writing skills will be a six. Six out of ten writing. Pet training going to be a five. Pipe organ. Very important instrument to learn how to play. That's going to be a two. Not so hot at the pipe organ. They should add a button to that that randomizes all skills at once. Yeah, that would be nice, eh, Shotgun? That would be a, a good function, but unfortunately it, it doesn't do that. I can delete all skills, but I can't randomize them all. I'm okay with Lem being smart. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> uh, wait. I didn't want to do her wellness skill again. Skill cheats. Set skill. Uh, no, next. Next. Oh, I did want to do her wellness. Okay, wellness. Her wellness skill will be 10. She's going to be a master of yoga and meditation. Her herbalism will be 9. Okay. Baking. Going to be 1. <laughs> She's not a good baker, everybody. Flower arranging. 7. 7 out of 10 on flower arranging. Fishing. Going to be another 7. 7 out of 10 for fishing for Lemley. DJ mixing. It's going to be a 4. 4 out of 10 on the DJ mixing. Veterinarian. She's going to be a 6. 6 out of 10 on veterinarian. Her photography skills will be 5. Singing. She's going to be a 4 out of 10 on singing. So not all that great at singing. And archaeology. A 3. 3 out of 10 on her archaeology skills. Salvadoradian culture. She's going to be a 7. Not as versed as uh, Panda Peasant Sim in Salvadoradian culture. Her bowling skills are two. She's not a good bowler. Her vampire lore will be three. Parenting will be nine. <laughs> nine out of ten parenting. She could be the mama of the household. Dancing is ten. Man, Lemley is a dance machine. She's ten out of ten on her dancing skill. Lastly, her woohoo skill is going to be 1. <laughs> She's a 1 out of 10 on woohoo skill. Poor Lemley Lemming Sim. <laughs> There's Lemley's skills. We have all Lemley's skills figured out. Let's uh, delete all these for her. Lemley Lemming Sim is ready to go. Let's move over to War Bunny. And let's uh, figure out War Bunny's skills here. Uh, uh, no, don't want to increase his funds. As nice as that would be. Let's set a skill. His bunny's fitness skill will be a five. Five out of ten fitness. Mixology. It's going to be a five. Comedy. Maybe ten. Man, he's got comedy skills to rival you, Panda. You and Bunny. He's going to have... 2 out of 10 Charisma. His gardening skills. Going to be a 6. Gourmet cooking. Going to be an 8. And guitar. Be a 1. Not so good at playing the guitar. Programming. 5 out of 10 on programming. Handiness. He's going to be a 5 out of 10 on handiness. Cooking. And he'll be a 4 out of 10 on the cooking. 
It's okay, Panda. He has two out of ten charisma. That's right. <laughs> he may be pretty funny, but he's not all that uh, socially astute. Wellness. Wait. Did I give him... Uh... I didn't do these yet, did I? Logic and everything? I didn't do logic yet. Logic. Bunny's logic is a three. Three out of ten on the logic. Hey, buddy, what's up? Mm -hmm. Uh, mischief. Bunny's gonna be a 6 out of 10 in mischief. Painting. Uh, he's a 3 out of 10 on the painting, so not so hot at the painting. Pin Nano. 1. 1 out of 10 on the piano. Music is perhaps not Bunny's forte. 6 out of 10 in rocket science. Video gaming. He's gonna be a 5 out of 10 on the video gaming. Violin. An 8. Okay, the violin could be Bunny's instrument of choice. The writing is gonna be a 3. Pet training is gonna be a 7. And Pipe Organ, a nine. Oh man. He's gonna be playing Anagata DeVita on the Pipe Organ all night long. I just heard the music. This is pretty epic music for skill choosing. <laughs> that sounds good, Shotgun. Isn't it? Epic music, right? Wellness is gonna be a four. Herbalism for Bunny. Could be 6 out of 10. Baking. Could it be a 6 out of 10 on his baking skills? Flower arranging. I love some of these skills. Another 6. Whew. Rolling a bunch of 6s in a row. Fishing. Is going to be a 6. DJ mixing. A 1. <laughs> a 1 out of 10 on his DJ mixing. Uh, veterinarian's gonna be a six. Six out of ten on his veterinarian skills. His photography skills are gonna be a two. His singing skills is gonna be a six. Six out of ten on his singing, not bad. Dope. Set his singing as six. And his archaeology skills are going to be a six. So kind of average skills so far here for uh, the War Bunny Sim. Selvadoradian culture, he's going to have a six. Bowling, be a nine. He's a pretty great bowler. Vampire lore, it's going to be a five out of ten on vampire lore. Parenting. Three out of ten on parenting. <laughs> Some of these skills would be pretty funny if Bunny was here to actually hear it, considering he actually is a parent. Dancing. Dancing. JC Games, thank you so much for the host, brother. Thank you very much. Uh, he gets a ten out of ten on his dancing skills, guys. Wow. And lastly, Bunny's Woohoo skill is going to be 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 Woohoo. Amazing. Purple Candies. Is it Purple Candles or Purple Candies? Sometimes I can't tell if it's an I or an E. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much for being here. We're just setting all the skill levels of our Sims for the Big Brother Challenge. We're halfway done. We got 4 out of 8 done. These Sims are all based off of subscribers to my channel. And uh, we're randomly determining their skill levels as they partake in our Big Brother Challenge. On it, how are you doing, brother? Long time no see. What have you been up to? How's your channel going? I've seen you've been playing a lot of uh, Call of Duty. Welcome to the channel, though, brother. And we're moving over to Boho Glitch Sim here. we got to set her uh, her skill levels now. Her fitness skill. So we're randomly rolling all their skills. 
So her fitness skill is going to be 6 out of 10. Mixology is going to be 2. She's not such a good bartender. Comedy is going to be 3. 3 out of 10 comedy. That's kind of what our kids think her comedy level is. Charisma is 3. Oh man, low rolls for Boho so far here. Gardening is going to be 3. Oh man. Boho Glitch is getting low rolls. Gourmet Cooking. She gets a 6 out of 10. Guitar. She gets a 2 out of 10 on her guitar skills. Programming. It's going to be a 10. She's a master programmer. She'll get a kick out of that because she's, uh, she's competent with computers right now, but um, 1 out of 10 on handiness. Oh man. The sim is not turning out like my wife actually is. <laughs> cooking, seven. There we go. That's decent. That's a decent uh, cooking skill. Yeah, how are you guys doing today? How is your weekend shaping up? You got any uh, plans for the weekend? Things going on? Okay, Boho Glitches Logic Skills. She's going to have a one out of ten in logic. Oh, man. She is not going to be happy when she hears about these rules. Her mischief level is going to be 5 out of 10. Her painting level is going to be 10 out of 10. See, that's... My wife's a great painter, so this, this makes sense. Piano. She's going to be 4 out of 10 on the piano. Rocket science is going to be an 8. That's pretty good. 8 out of 10 on rocket science is pretty pretty good. 8 out of 10 on video gaming. What would be uh, on its video gaming score? 10 out of 10? At least that's what you'll tell all the other uh, Fortnite and uh, Call of Duty players. 10 out of 10 on writing for Boho Glitch. <whistles> Pet training going to be an 8. Okay, now we're getting some high rolls. Pipe organ, the all-important pipe organ. 9 out of 10. <laughs> She's going to have 9 out of 10 uh, pipe organ skills. Amazing. Alright. Boho's wellness skill. Her yoga and meditation is going to be 4. 4 out of 10. Her herbalism not that kind of herbalism. One. One out of ten. She's not so good with the herbs. But her baking is an eight. Eight out of ten baking. Flower arranging. Oh man, guys. She's a ten out of ten flower arranger. Amazing. Fishing's gonna be three. Three out of ten on her fishing. DJ mixing. Oh please, please high number. Eight, yes. Boho Glitch Sim, the DJ. Veterinarian, gonna be a four. And her photography skills are gonna be another four. Singing. Yeah, Boho is actually a, a really big photographer in real life. Singing is gonna be eight. Whew. And her archaeology. It's going to be six. Ah, uh, Salvadoradian culture. She's going to get a one out of ten. Salvadoradian culture, that came with the, uh, the Jungle Adventure expansion. Three out of ten for her bowling. Salvadorada is the mythical kind of uh, Latin country that exists in The Sims 4. Nine out of ten on her vampire lore. Boho Glitch Sim is going to know her... Her vampires. Her parenting skill is one. Uh, we have kids, so that brings me much amusement. Her dancing skills. Boho likes to dance. What are we going to get? 8 out of 10. Nice. 8 out of 10 dancing skills. And lastly, her woohoo skills, which I cannot comment on. Or I get in trouble. 9. <laughs> she won't get in trouble with 9 out of 10 woohoo skills, that's for sure. Alright, Boho Glitch Sim is ready to go. Her skills are all set. 
for the Big Brother Challenge. You're back and plan to sit on my ass to watch this a while. Peanut is here too and says hello. Oh, awesome, Peanut. If we could put a house animal into our Big Brother Challenge, it would be Peanut the Beagle. Let's set GB simulation skills. GB simulation, based on my friend Goburns, a streamer on YouTube. His fitness skill is 10. Man, guys, he's fit. 10 out of 10 fitness skills. Mixology's nine. Nine out of 10 on his drink making abilities. Comedy's eight. High rolls for GB simulation. His charisma rolls, a seven. It's like we're going back, counting backwards here with all of his uh, skill rolls. His gardening is a four. Four out of 10 gardening gourmet cooking. For GB, is gonna be an eight. Eight on his gourmet cooking. Guitar, one. One out of 10, he does not have any astuteness with the guitar. GB's programming skill is gonna be a 10. 10 out of 10 programming skills for GB simulation. And his handiness is gonna be a nine. Wow, guys, GB is getting some high skill rolls here. 10 out of 10 on cooking. I don't think anybody's gotten 10 in cooking yet. So that's uh, pretty impressive. You're damn right it'd be Peanut the Beagle. Yeah, of course. Peanut the Beagle and Leo would be the house cat. GB's logic skills. Three. <laughs> 3 out of 10 logic for GB Simulation. His mischief skills is going to be 8 though, so he's got some mischief skills. Painting will be a 1. 1 out of 10 painting. Piano is going to be a 6, a fairly decent piano player. Rocket science will be a 4. He's not a rocket scientist like Shotgun, that's for sure. Video gaming, three. <laughs> From the guy who's a professional video game streamer. Three out of ten on the violin. His writing skill is a two. Two out of ten on his writing. His pet training, he gets a nine. He's like Dr. Doolittle up in here. Pipe organ's a four. My mother-in-law came by today and met Otto. She saw the doctor sauntering up the driveway and said, he's a bit of a chunk. <laughs> no, no dog named after you, Peanut. It's just coincidental that you've got a matching name with uh, Peanut the Beagle. Wellness. Let's see how uh, GB does at the yoga. He's a 9 out of 10 at the yoga. He is for the yoga. Herbalism. He's got another 9. GB knows his herbs. Baking, an eight. It's gonna be an eight out of 10 baker. Flower arranging, 10 out of 10 flower. Guys, guys, go in Goburn's Discord right now and tell him that he is a 10 out of 10 flower arranger. He's also a 10 out of 10 fisherman, apparently. So he's got that going for him. DJ mixing, he's a four. Veterinarian, he's a 10. Shotgun, GB has a little better animal skills than your sim has. Uh, photography, he's a two. Sink ink, he's got a six out of singing skills. And archeology, span 10. Just call him Dr. Jones doll. Okay, GB Simulations Salvadoradian knowledge is a nine. He's a very that's right up there with his archaeology skills. His bowling skills, he's got a one. One out of ten in bowling. Vampire lore, he's a two. 
Two out of ten. Parenting skills for GB. He's a one. <laughs> one out of ten at his parenting. Dancing. He's a two. Two out of ten dancing for GB simulation. And lastly, his woohoo skills. He's a nine. Ladies. Ladies, he has some talents. GB simulation. Okay, that's all the skills for GB simulation. We got two more sims to go. And then we're ready to send them into the house to start their time together. We got Gary Raxer Sim over here. Gary just uh, celebrated a birthday on his stream recently. Over at the Raxer. Um, which I can't remember if his uh, birthday was yesterday. And I think I missed his uh, birthday stream. I think I did miss it. Gary's fitness skill is going to be a 6. His mixology skill is going to be a 6. Not 56, just a 6. His comedy skill is going to be an 8. He's a pretty funny guy. His charisma, that Scottish charisma, an 8. Yeah, that Scottish accent is working for him. Gardening. He's a two. Two out of ten at his gardening. How about his gourmet cooking? He's a four. Four out of ten on his gourmet cooking. At the strings, at the guitar, he's a one. One out of ten on the guitar. Programming. He's a three, which is kind of funny because Gary actually works in a game design studio. Wait, we already did programming. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, handiness. He's a two at handiness. He's not very handy. And cooking. He's a one. One out of ten at cooking. Peanuts Discord has, <laughs> has been nutted, which is what I think I will call it when I spam <laughs> peanut photos. You've been nutted. Gary's logic skills is five. Five out of ten when it comes to Gary's logic. Mischief is going to be a five. Painting. His painting skills are going to be a six. His piano skills will be an eight. Oh, he's fairly good at the piano. Not so hot at the guitar. Great at the piano. But what about his rocket science skills? He's got an 8. It's not uh, top of the ladder, but that's pretty good. Video gaming, I always love rolling this skill for streamers. 7. Decent. Decent. Violin. 10 out of 10! Gary is a max master violinist. How about his writing skills? He's going to have a 6 out of 10 for writing, for pet training. He's going to have a 7. And for Pipe Organ, that all-important vampire instrument, he's going to have a 5 out of 10. Shotgun Simark would like to ask other contestants if they will submit to a brain dissection slash knowledge transfer, which is exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be rocket science to do that, right? Wellness. How good is Gary at Yoga? He's an 8. He's pretty good. He's got some wellness skills. How good is he at the herb? A one. One out of ten herbalism skills. Baking. Gary's got six out of ten baking skills. Flower. But how good of a flower arranger are you, Gary? One. He's a one out of ten flower arranger. Fishing. Ooh, ten out of ten fishing for Gary Raxerson. Give that guy a line and a hook. He'll catch you anything. He's a 6 out of 10 on his DJ mixing. Veterinarian. He's got 9. Whew. Him and GB can start up a practice together. His photography skills are a 9. That's pretty good. His singing skills. 5. We don't have anybody who's really an amazing singer yet in the house. His archaeology skills are going to be a 3. 
And Selvadoradian Culture is going to be a 2. Gary's bowling skills are going to be an 8. Pretty good bowler. Vampire Lore is going to be a 2. Doesn't really understand a lot about vampires. Gary's parenting skills, a 10 out of 10, everybody. If there is a parent in this game, it's Gary Raxersim. He gets a 9 out of 10 on his dancing skills. He's going to show off some moves. And his woohoo skills are a 9. Guys, he goes for the triple crown towards the end. 9 out of 10 dancing. 9 out of 10 woohoo. Guys, Gary Raxersim is going to put on some moves in this game show. Which brings us to the last and final contestant to set his skills randomly. And that's Steve L.A. Sim. Let's go to his uh, uh, skill sets here. Fitness. He's an 8. He's a fit guy, this Steve L.A. Sim. Mixology. It's going to be a 2. Not a, lot of, not a lot of experience at making drinks. But his comedy skills, too. His jokes kind of... They kind of go over your head. Uh, no, I want to set his uh, charisma here. Skill tree set skill. Charisma. Steve's charisma is a 7. Not bad. How's his gardening? He's a 5. He's a 5 out of 10 at his gardening. How about his gourmet cooking? Eh, three. Not much into the gourmet cooking. How about the the flamenco on the guitar? Oh, he's a six. Six out of ten has guitar skills. His programming. Ten out of ten. This guy's a hacker. He's a whiz at programming. Five out of ten on his handiness. And on his cooking, Steve is an eight. He can he can make a dish for you, ladies. He's got some he's got some abilities in the kitchen. Shotgun Simark's rocket science degree is just a framed 8x10 glossy, which she signed of her riding with this rocket ship quarter machines at the mall. Yes, amazing. Okay, Steve's logic roll is gonna be two. Does not have a lot of logic skills. His mischief is gonna be three. His painting skills. How good of a painter is uh, Steve L.A. Sim? Ah, four. Not that much going on. How about his piano skills here? One. One out of ten on Steve's piano skills. Rocket science. He's a four. Video gaming. How Steve's video gaming skills? He's a five. He's a five out of ten on that. How about the violin? Is he a, a prodigy? No, he's only got uh, four out of ten on the violin skills. How's his writing? He's a 6 out of 10 on his writing skills. Pet training. 3 out of 10. Not so hot with the animals. And pipe organ. You're going to surprise us with some uh, Beethoven? No, no, no. He's only 3 out of 10 on his pipe organ skills. Wellness. Steve has a 3 out of 10 on his wellness skills. How about herbalism? Steve has 9 out of 10. Steve knows his herb. Baking. 8 out of 10. Steve's a decent baker, ladies. Flower arranging. Oh, here. Let's seal the deal, Steve. 7 out of 10. That's not too bad. Flower arranging skills. Fishing. Can you provide for the home, Steve L.A. Sim? Ah, uh, 3. 3 out of 10 on his fishing skills. DJ mixing. How is he at the turntables? He's a 4 out of 10 on his DJ mixing. Veterinarian. He's a seven, pretty decent. Have the veterinarian skills. How about photography? When, it, when Steve takes pictures, it's an eight out of 10. He's got an eye. Singing, he's a nine. Man, Steve's got some mad singing skills. If Big Brother doesn't work out, he's gonna cut a record deal. One out of 10 on his archeology. And lastly, Steve is the one who dries the pot that Shotgun Simark grows in her garden. Yeah, I forgot to check what your gardening skills are at for your Sim. Salvadoradian culture. 
Steve's got a two. He's not a very well-traveled guy, apparently. Bowling. When Steve hits the lanes, it's a seven out of ten. It's pretty good. Vampire lore. How much of Twilight has Steve read? He's read only three out of the ten books. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Uh, parenting. Six out of ten parenting skills for Steve L.A. Sim. Dancing. How is he on the dance floor? When David Bowie gets played, he gets a 7 out of 10 on his dancing skills. And when he hits the sheets, Steve's woohoo skills are 7 out of 10. Better than average. That's it, guys. That's all of the skill levels. I think Shotgun's Gardening is 10 out of 10. You could be correct. Let's double check that real quick. Shotgun's Gardening level, Gardening skill is... 10 out of 10, you are correct. So he could uh, dry those herbs out that you uh, grow in your garden. All right, random skills are all set for all of our contestants. Um, what else do we have to prepare? I think we have to set all their friendship levels at 15. Let's make sure all their relationship levels are all at 15 with each other. And then we will send them into the house. 15. Did they all start out at 15? I think they did. Good. Good, 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 good. All right. Yeah, they're good. They're good to go. All right. Let's uh, make sure they got the full autonomy going on. They should have full autonomy. Yep. And, uh, oh, we got to lock a few doors because they can't get it. They're not supposed to get into specific areas of the house yet. So let's make sure that the have not room is locked. Let's make sure that's locked so they can't get into that. Lock door for everyone. Make sure they can't get into the head of household room. Lock door for everyone. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, here we go. Go on into the house, everybody. Okay. We got our contestants, they're ready to kind of hang out. And at about uh, noon, we're gonna do the first head of household competition to decide uh, who is gonna become Herbs. Thanks, Hutch Dad. <laughs> You're welcome. I like how they're all just standing around like, uh, uh, what are we supposed to do? GB Simulation just decided he's gonna go and do something. He's gonna go and get a drink of water. That's what he's gonna do. GB Simulation isn't gonna waste no time. He's going to go get himself a drink. He's not going to hesitate. Panda Peasant Sim is with a group just kind of hanging out there staring at things. Shotgun Simark, she went to go get a drink of water. Oh, I didn't change her walk. <laughs> Shotgun's got the creep walk going on. <laughs> Guys, if you don't know, when we created a uh, shotgun sim to go into our sub-sim world, uh, we gave her the creep walk uh, to start off with. <laughs> Lemley Lemming Sim is hanging out with the crowd outside. War Bunny is just kind of standing around. Boho Glitch Sim is just standing around. Uh, what is Steve doing here? Yeah, there's a weird glitch with this house where sometimes if some sims want to use a slablet, uh, they, they glitch out for some reason. So the trick is to cancel it and then give him access to a slablet that I know actually works. So we'll see if that uh, frees him up to get moving again. There we go. Come on, Steve. Go hang out on a slablet. <laughs> I love that these there's these sims just like, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm just going to hang out there. Got to be socializing. Get to know each other right away. Shotgun's browsing the web on her phone. It is a nice, uh, warm summer day out. I started out in... Uh, I decided to start these guys out in the summer. I put that walk on my creation too, it's okay. Oh, that's good, Shotgun, I'm glad. Uh, it's summertime for this contest, and I disabled any uh, rain and 
snow because I played a round of this with rain enabled and it's really bad. All the stuff that was made for the Big Brother Challenge that Holly made uh, didn't have the Seasons expansion pack in mind. So everything gets kind of uh, uh, rained on and everybody gets upset and it's just not, it's not a good scene. Bunny, go check out that other tablet. Don't go for the bugged out tablet. Go for the good tablet. Man, that tablet bug in this house is really, really bad. Okay, let's buy another tablet. Let's buy another tablet. Put that, uh... down on the table and don't go for that but uh, does she want to troll the forums she wants to play incredible sports play incredible sports tap GB wants to go play some chess Gary Raxer sim is bugged out on the slablet thing Really nasty bug. The best I can figure is there is a slablet somewhere in the game that is hidden somewhere and it's bugged out. So every time a sim tries to play it, they get bugged because you can't they can't access it. They can't get to it. Steve wants to go play some foosball. Panda's got the slablet bug going on. Let's just make sure everybody has slablets. Let's make sure everyone has the roof conversation. What's the what's the roof conversation? What is the roof conversation? Shotgun's playing on a slablet. Everyone's bugged out. Everyone wants to play with slablets. Everyone wants to play. Everyone wants to play handheld computers. Uh, let's put one over on a table. I need another surface somewhere. Here we go. there. Troll the forums on this slab there, Lemley. See, look, they're all like, <laughs> they're all bugged out. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now they're going to go get their slablets. There we go. Whew, do I get a slablet for attending this stream? <laughs> slablets for everyone. No, no slablet prizes. Unfortunately, it's not in my not in my stream budget yet. Steve wants to play some foosball. Everyone's standing in front of their slablets. It's like, what? <laughs> That's a serious bug with the slablets. I don't know what it is. That's there. See, look, now they all move in unison playing their slablets. It's weird. It's a weird bug. Panda is a geek. He loves playing with slablets. Look at this. They're all on slabs. What is this? This is what you get when you get a household full of geeks in the Big Brother Challenge. They all play slablet all day long. Uh, are you able to hear the uh, background music and the game content at pretty good levels along with my voice? This is exactly what a group gathering of streamers probably looks like. This is what I get when most of the sims for my sub world and for the Big Brother Challenge are all streamers. Yeah, you're right, Shotgun. This is exactly what I get. They're all playing on slablets. All playing on computers. They literally are all playing on slablets. That is so funny. I wouldn't have to do it if the slablet wasn't glitched. Well, you see, JB's going to hit the boxing bag. He's, he's being a little different. Here we go. And Steve's gonna, or uh, JB's gonna get a little bit. He's gonna work on the boxing bag here. 
Well, meanwhile, we've got these guys all on their slablets. You could not allow slablets in the house. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I'd like to, but apparently just there's one slablet somewhere that's bugged somewhere in the house. So if I don't have extras, they will, they will bug out. Steve's going to go and have a conversation with Shotgun Simark. He wants to go and chat it up with her. Uh, nope, we don't need the welcome wagon. We do not need the welcome wagon. Panda Peasant Sim is playing on his slablet. Shotgun's feeling confident as she's talking to Steve L.A. Sim. And they are having a casual discussion. Snushy. Bunny's still out on his slab. We're all playing co-op games together. That's right. That's what you're doing. Big Brother, the geek season. And they're all playing co-op games together. All right, let's do the first head of household competition. Let's get right into it. We're going to randomly determine which competition we're going to do for the first head of household competition. Big Brother competitions. Here we go. Competition's going to be... 3D blocking. Give each sim a virtual reality sim gaming object. Instruct each one to play Blick Block. Autonomy on full. First sim to leave wins. Pretending it's a puzzle. Okay, so like the, the fastest sim to finish a virtual reality sim gaming object is the winner of Head of Household. All right. Now, normally I would upload... Uh, Holly BB has actually uh, pre-created all the different competition uh, rooms for each competition. But because the, the gallery is not working today, I can't download them all. So we're going to have to make them up on our own. So we need eight virtual reality gaming objects. Let's, uh, let's set them up here. Uh, where are the in electronics? Where is our virtual reality? Here we are. Pro Perfection Motion Sensor. I will do the Motion Monitor Gaming Mat. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll do. The Motion Monitor Gaming Mat. Here we go. So we need eight of these. Two. Oh, wait. Let's uh, make sure they're all accessible. There we go. And... No, 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 no. Pick him up. Three. And uh, <laughs> four. All right. Let's see who can finish their virtual reality puzzle first. Let's move this over there. And that there. And that there. All right. We got the uh, virtual reality mats all out. Let's do it. No, 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 no. Play a game. Blick block. Shotgun. Go and play. Blick block. Lemley. Go and play. Blick block. War bunny. Go and play. Blick block. Boho Glitch, play Blick Block. GB Simulation, play Blick Block. And Gary. And lastly, Steve L.A. Sim. Here we go. Let's send these guys off to the first competition. The first head of household competition. Here we go. A VR puzzle? I'm pretty sure... Hutch Sim has a 10 out of 10 in puzzles. Yeah, that'd be... I would not be winning this competition if there was a Hutch Sim in the game. Alright, here they all go. We're all gonna play Blick Block. So the first Sim to leave their gaming mat becomes the first head of household for the competition. Here we go. Lemley Lemming Sim with a late start. Let's hope she can keep up. So remember, it's the first sim to leave a mat who will who will win the contest. 
And our sims are hard at work in the competition. This is a bit of a different challenge than what I've seen in other Big Brother competitions, in where the last one to leave becomes the head of household. My money's on Panda. Okay, Shotgun Sane Panda Peasant Sim will become the first head of household. We're gonna see here. First Sim to leave. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, it's a tie between Steve L.A. Sim and Gary Raxer Sim. Wow, okay. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to have a playoff between uh, Steve and Gary. Wow, we had a tie. Okay, let's uh, get gear or uh, GB. Let's get everyone to quit and go over here. Wow, okay. We had a tie with our very first competition. We gotta have a playoff. Let's get everyone to quit. Shotgun's going to the washroom, so that's good. I was with Shotgun. <laughs> Panda, you lost. Yep, you did not uh, win the first head of household competition. Okay, let's clear the playing field here. Let's clear out all the extra gaming mats. Let's clear all these out. And we're going to leave two. As Steve and Gary are going to have a competition to see who becomes the first head of household in our Big Brother Challenge. Okay, here we go. Gary, you get to, uh, oh no, let's have Gary go here. Play game, Blick Block. Steve here, play game, Blick Block. Okay, here we go. Gary's doing push-ups because he's ready, that's right. And we're off. Competition for who will be the first head of household. Here we go. These guys are probably all standing around because they all want to use tablets. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a cascade bug when that happens. Gary's feeling energized. He's feeling good about his chances. Alright, so the first sim to leave becomes the first head of household for our competition. So just um, for those of you keeping score at home... Gary has a video gaming skill of seven, and Steve has a video gaming skill of five. So they did not have the highest video gaming skills necessarily. Okay, it's a contest between Steve and Gary. Steve L.A. Sim and Gary Raxerson competing. Oh, 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 oh! And it's Steve! Steve L.A. Sim, by a hair's breadth, becomes the first head of household for our Sims 4 competition. Wow. Okay. So, this gives... So, Steve gets access to the uh, head of household room. So, we get to unlock the doors for him there. Allow access to Steve. So Steve now has access to the head of household room. And Steve will decide, or help to decide, who gets evicted first from the household. He'll be nominating three people. Wow, Steve is always the underdog. You never expect the Steve. That's right. Steve is going to be the... Steve is the first head of household of our Big Brother Challenge. Okay, so... Uh, he's okay. We're gonna have him claim the head of household bed. Let's do that now, too. While I'm thinking about it, let's get uh, let's allow Steve to claim that bed. Ah, randomly choose from the action section. Okay, so now we're gonna decide an action is gonna happen in the household. Actions are events that shift relationships between the different sims. So let's bring up our challenge roller. Where did my Where did my Sims 4 challenge roller go? Here we go. Text files, big brother. Actions, big brother actions. Okay, so first action on day one is oddballs aren't really high on the chopping block right now. They're also pretty entertaining to talk to, so there's that. Increase 20 friendship points with your unflirty erratic and socially awkward sims with the entire house. I don't think we have any of those. I don't think we have anybody who's uh, 
unflirty, erratic, or socially awkward. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive we don't have any any Sims feeling that have those traits. Unflirty, erratic, or socially awkward. We don't. So let's roll again. Let's roll again on the uh, actions challenge. Hot-headedness and mean treats don't always have to be mean traits. <laughs> You're vol you volunteer to be considered erratic. <laughs> don't always have to be a bad thing. These Sims... Here, I'll move this so you can see it. My webcam's not over it. These Sims seem to be doing a good job at steering the game for now. Increase their friendship points by 10 with everyone. Do we have any who's hot anyone who's hot-headed? I don't think we have any hot-headed or mean Sims either, I don't think. I need to put more variety in my in my Sims. I think we have to roll again for the actions, because I don't think we have anybody who's hot-headed or mean. We don't. All right, well, let's try it again. One more time. Big Brother actions. Some Sims become the top dogs. Even though they'll always be a target, some Sims don't want to take a swipe at them just yet. Increase 10 friendship points with the whole house. For any Sim with the traits active, bro, or handy. We do have active Sims. Okay, so we do have active Sims. All of them are going to get an increase of 10 friendship points with everyone in the house. So I think Panda is active. He is. So let's go to his relationships. And we're going to add 10 points to his relationships with each of the household. Uh, Shotgun's going to get... A 10 point bonus with Panda. Lemly Lemming Sim. He's gonna get that with Panda. And Bunny. So Panda gets an increase in relationship points with every Sim in the household. Uh, we already did it to Glitch. What about GB? Put GB up to 25. Gary Raxer Sim. He's going to get an increase of 10. And then Steve. He's going to get an increase with Steve as well. Okay, so Panda is an active Sim. Um. Other active sims are... Da, 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 da. GB. GB Simulation is an active sim. So he's going to get uh, relationship increases. Um, not with Panda, because he already did that. Um, shotgun. He's going to get an increase with uh, Shotgun Simark. GB is going to get an increase with uh, Lemley there. So the, the active Sims are popular right now in the household. Uh, War Bunny, Boho. So GB's re friendship with Boho increases. Gary's going to... Gary is going to increase that. And Steve. His relationship with Steve is going to increase. And I don't think Steve is an active sim, but I'm... No, he's not. But Gary is. So Gary's relationships are all going to increase as well. Panda already increased. Gary's relationship with Shotgun is going to increase by 10. His relationship with Lemley is going to increase by 10. His relationship with Bunny. And Boho. So Gary gets improved relationship with a number of different Sims. Including Steve, the new head of household. Okay, that's good. Lem in her hot dog suit, right? Do you like that we kept her in the uh, hot dog suit? 
for the Big Brother Challenge. In uh, my Sub Sims world, Lemley Lemming Sim uh, wears a hot dog outfit. So we decided to keep it here for this challenge. Let me get rid of these video gaming mats. We don't need these anymore. Get rid of those. Oops. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so that's the action. I think now we're going to roll a conflict. Okay, now we're going to roll a conflict to happen. Conflict 7 plus. Okay, and the conflict for day one is going to be no conflict. All right, the contestants get a free pass for day one. Day one. Next, we're going to do alliances. We make a roll on the alliances section. Do any alliances form in day one. Real romance. Could it be real love? On reality TV, choose two sims and increase their romance to 75%. Put them in a relationship. Wow. We're going to get a day one romance in the Big Brother Challenge. Okay, so we're going to randomly select uh, a female sim and a male sim uh, to do this. So... Let me bring up a uh, random number generator. And, uh, okay, so first let's pick the dude between one and five. The dude in the romance is going to be Gary. Gary Raxer Sims going to be the dude. And Gary's romance in this game is going to be with Lemley Lemming Sim. That works out amazingly well because they are partners IRL. So <laughs> Gary and Lemley hook up in the Big Brother House Challenge. What are the, well, the odds are one in eight, I guess, that they do. So let's go to Gary here with Lemley. And uh, so let's set their romance relationship at 75. And now we're going to put them in... A relationship with each other. Um, add relationship with Sim on lot. Gary Raxer Sim. Uh, wait. Um, why? Uh, the only option is to set a husband. I can't set them as um, boyfriend, girlfriend? Add relationship. With, um, I can only make them husband? Well, that doesn't make sense. Why would I want to make them husband and wife in the middle of the game? I don't want to do that. Okay, let's just stick with uh, the 75 romance. So, that's so sweet. I know, right? So, Gary and we got a showmance right off the bat between Gary Raxer Sim and Lemley Lemming Sim. All right, there we go. So, that's our alliance. Now randomly select a sim and choose one of their whims to complete. All right. So out of all eight contestants, who's going to get the chance to complete a whim? It will be Shotgun Simark. Shotgun Simark is going to get to complete a whim for her sim. So let's see what we got here. She wants to call someone on the phone. Can't really do that when you're in the Big Brother house. She wants to gain in the parenting skill. <laughs> And she wants to dry laundry in the dryer. Let's have her do some laundry. Let's have her do do that whim uh, to get started here. So uh, do we have any laundry that we can do? Or is it still too early to do laundry? Uh, we'll give her some time. Once there's some laundry to do, we'll let her, uh, we'll let her do some laundry in the house. Um, and I think... Let the rest of the night play out autonomously. Yeah, so we're just going to let the rest of the day play out. Uh, Steve L.A. Sim is the first head of household. He gets uh, access to the head of household room first out. Not the parenting one, I swear. <laughs> no, we won't do the parenting whim. We'll wait till there's some laundry for them to do. <laughs> Lemley Lemming Sim, who's now got a showmance going on with Gary. Very funny. Funny's just kind of hanging out. Boho, Steve, and Shotgun are kind of having a...
conversation in the washroom area. GB is spending some time on the uh, slablet. What are Gary and Lemley? Oh, Gary wants to go in for a kiss. Gary wants to go in for a kiss with Lemley. Oh, there we go. The showmance is underway. I often discuss things in the bathroom. <laughs> it's just a, a good place to have some conversations. Steve L.A. Now, this is good. I mean, having conversations and building relationships can uh, inadvertently build some alliances between uh, people in the house. Panda Peasant Sims off to use the washer. So we're going to let the uh, rest of this day kind of play out. And then allow the uh, competitions of the next day to happen. Gary and Lemley gain to know one another. War Bunny and GB are spending some time getting to know one another. Oh, what are they doing? They're having a casual discussion. Yeah. And these three are just having a casual conversation. GB and uh, War Bunny still hanging out, chatting. Gary is trying to find his way around them. Gary's gonna work out. He's gonna go build those muscles. Gary is an active sim, so he enjoys uh, doing things to build his uh, build his muscle strength. So Gary's gonna work out here in the backyard. Steve L.A. Sim is feeling tense. Why is he tense? He's tense because someone <laughs> someone lied to Steve and told him they're a criminal mastermind. Gary is pasty. <laughs> yeah, he needs to get some sun, eh? Um, so Steve L.A. Sim right now is tense because he thinks there's a criminal mastermind in the house. So someone lied to him. It was either Shotgun or Boho Glitch Sim lied to Steve. That's funny. Panda's offering some encouragement and some support to Gary Raxersim while he trains. Shotgun and Boho are just having a casual discussion. Panda says, I'm the criminal mastermind. <laughs> Shotgun Sim probably did the criminal mastermind thing. Oh, never mind. It was totally glitch. Glitch. <laughs> might have been glitch. It might have been. So, so far, see, things seem to be going well in the house. There hasn't been any conflicts. No one's really been at each other's throats. Uh, War Bunny's feeling energized. He's feeling pretty good. Things are good in the house. Everybody's uh, pretty happy so far in the Big Brother house. As they hang out and get to know one another. What you thinking of doing, Gary? He wants to craft a garden pot is what he wants to do. That's kind of one of his wants in life. Panda is eating some popcorn. Panda is eating a bowl of popcorn. After working out, seems like a logical thing to do. Can Shotgun do any uh, laundry yet? Nope, not yet. No laundry to do yet. Does she have any new whims that we could do? Meet someone new, gain parenting skill, or dry laundry. Well, she's not going to meet anyone new. All right. Lemley was just uh, playing some foosball, but now she wants to play some slablet. Bunny's uh, helping himself to some popcorn. Oh, someone just made a fresh batch of popcorn. That's why everyone's going for it. I find with the uh, popcorn maker and ice cream maker, Sims very rarely actually cook meals. They, they mostly eat junk food <laughs> all the time. Boho Glitch Sim is feeling a little inspired. GB is getting some popcorn. Gary is going to go get some popcorn. Steve's still feeling tense. He's worried. My popcorn. <laughs> Alright, the household is just gathered around enjoying some popcorn. Panda's going to go work out on the boxing bag some more. 
You could go for some popcorn? <laughs> popcorn would be a good snack right now, eh? Lemley's gonna have some popcorn. Shot <laughs> Where's Shotgun going? She's gonna creep for some popcorn. She's like, oh, I want some popcorn. Yeah, popcorn is the snack of choice. Oh, a shotgun sitting all by herself back there. All by herself back there with the uh, bowls of popcorn. Oh, GB is not happy. The place is surrounded in filth and squalor. He wants to tidy this place up. There's a lot of dirty dishes around. Yeah, a lot of people are upset with how stinky the place is. Steve's not happy about it. He's gonna clean up some dishes. He's gonna try and clean up this mess. I don't need nobody but my popcorn bowl. Look out for my new country single. Nice shotgun. <laughs> Like a panda going to work on that boxing bag. His current fitness skill is at level 9. So he's, he's in pretty good shape. He's got pretty good... Uh, Panda's got pretty good fitness skills going on. Uh, Bunny wants to go and talk with Shotgun. After he uses the washroom, of course. Steve's cleaning up the mess, clean up a lot of the stinky bowls around the house. <laughs> a lot of these sims are just kind of standing around, like, I don't know what to do. They do have full autonomy on, so they should decide what actions they want to do, how they want to hang out. Shotgun's gonna go play on the slablet for a bit. Clean up some of the mess here, Lemley. Nobody's just standing around, so is Boho Glitch Sim. Oh, GB's doing some working out. He's trying to get in shape for that uh, fitness challenge. That might take place the next time Head of Household is up for grabs. So eventually, Steve L.A. Sim is going to nominate uh, three Sims to go on the chopping block for eviction. And they're basically going to be the three Sims who he has the lowest relationship with. Steve's just enjoying some popcorn by himself. Gary and Lemley are hugging. Oh, Boho Glitch Sim acquired the logic skill. Man, Gary and Lemley are just like... In this game, they've practically met each other for the first time and... Just ready for action. Panda and GB mean business. For this Big Brother competition. Gary and Lem are cheating together. I bet they're a power couple. Oh. Yes. Trying to form an alliance together to get an advantage in this Big Brother competition. <laughs> it's a pretty uh, laid back first day, mostly because we had no conflicts. Because there were no conflicts, I think that's what really is keeping things pretty calm in the house right now. But we know that either Boho Glitch or shotgun oh. <laughs> yes. tricked Steve L.A. Sim into thinking that one Stop of them is a criminal looking. mastermind. Yeah. That could come back to bite them. Kesterman, press Alt F4 two times to open doors. <laughs> it's like some other dimension. It's an Easter egg the devs made. Oh, really? Alt F4, hey? Just magically creates a, a new level in The Sims 4? Welcome to the stream, Keterman. Okay, what are these guys all doing? Have a conversation? Okay, Steve is the guy you want to be 
building relationship right now because Steve is the head of household. He is the guy you want to get to know. Oh man, Panda. Panda means business. You love the dining tables? Yeah, they're nice, eh? Um, I don't know which expansion pack those came with. I'm not too sure. Lemley, are you sleepy? Go to, go to bed in real bed. Go claim yourself a real bed. Go find yourself a real bed, Lemley. Uh, Shotgun and War Bunny are hanging out by the pool. I forgot that I gave uh, War Bunny the Speedo outfit. That's hilarious. Yeah, I don't remember which pack those tables are from, Shotgun. Sorry, I don't remember. Ho Ho Glitch Sim is playing some uh, chess. Lambda. <laughs> they do spend a lot of time on tablets, these guys. It is funny. But like I said, this is what I get for creating a whole household of geek sims for the Big Brother Challenge. Ooh, Panda's uncomfortable. He pulled a muscle. Oh, everything hurts, Panda. He pulled a muscle. He's feeling fit. And he likes the house, but he pulled a muscle, and it's made him... It's made Panda uncomfortable. And Shotgun's going for a nice little evening swim. Lemley's sleeping it out. Bunny's enjoying some popcorn. Okay. Let's uh, claim that bed for Boho Glitch Sim as well. Okay, let's claim a bed for... GB. Let's claim that bed for a GB. I like to uh, claim beds for the Sims right away because they don't always think about it. Um, okay, what bed are you going to go to there, Panda? So then what inadvertently happens is they, they almost like they'll move up to a bed Someone else will be in that bed, and they'll say, oh, someone's in that bed. And they'll keep cycling amongst beds, and they never end up sleeping anywhere. It's a bit of a pain. Okay, claim that bed and sleep in it. Shotgun's still swimming. Oh, yes, Panda Peasant Sim. <laughs> Panda Peasant Sim, in our subworld, he sleeps in a panda outfit. So here he is in his panda outfit, just, uh... Enjoying a nice, quiet night's sleep. Okay, shotgun's going to bed. Gary's taking a shower. Steve's on the tablet. Bunny is cleaning up his mess. And Gary's singing in the shower as well. He should be singing in the shower. He's got that uh, show mats going on with Lemley Lemmingson. <laughs> Shotgun creeper way into bed. <laughs> Love it. The tables are from the IKEA pack. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding, they're from the IKEA pack. All right, Gary, which bed are you claiming? Why don't you go share a bed with uh, Lemley? Why don't you go sleep with Lemley in her bed? Okay, let's uh, claim this bed for shotgun, and then sleep in that bed. Is it gonna work for Gary? Gary gonna? There we go. Claim that bed for him. Is he still gonna sleep there if I claim it for him? Gary's not ready for bed. Who's this on the? Who's that? That, um, Bunny. Bunny, don't sleep on the couch here. Go sleep on this bed here. Let's claim that and sleep there. Gary good where he is? He's good where he is. Alright. So most of the Sims are calling it a night. For the first night of the Big Brother House Challenge. 
Except for Steve. The head of household is staying up late. Everybody else is asleep, but Steve's feeling pretty good. He's pretty happy that he won the first uh, head of household competition. What does he want to do? He wants to get to know Panda. I love this uh, bar along the bottom. You got Panda face, Shotgun's face, Lemley's face. Panda in his panda outfit. Steve never sleeps because sleep is for the weak. That's right. <laughs> sleep is for the weak, according to Steve L.A. Sim. That's why he's head of household and not anyone else. He was pretty lucky to win that challenge. <laughs> Yeah, he just stays up and eats popcorn. It does seem like that's what most of the Sims do, is they just eat popcorn all the time. They eat popcorn and pistachio gelato ice cream. Anytime you have one of those things in the house, that's all they'll do. For the entirety of time hanging out in the house. Clean up your mess after yourself, Steve. He's a pretty... Oh, did his head just do like a... Backwards spin? He's a pretty tidy Sim. Is he a neat Sim? He's a foodie. He's cheerful. He's outgoing. And he's gregarious. Okay, now Steve is going to go to sleep. Steve! No, don't sleep in that bed, Steve. Steve, you're the head of household. This is your bed. Sleep in that bed. You claimed it. Enjoy your room. Enjoy the head of household room while you have it. You're the only Sim who has access to it. All right, day one of the Big Brother House Challenge has been completed. And now we're gonna see what the new day of day two brings around for our Sims. And guys, I may have mentioned that uh, whoever Sim wins the Big Brother Challenge, that person will be getting a prize from me to them. What do we do on day two? The game in day two Continue to let them interact autonomously. So at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, we're going to do a new Actions, Conflict, and Alliances. So, let's let them have their day. They're hungry. We'll go eat some food, guys. Go eat some brekkie. Obviously, it's me. I mean, look at those gains. <laughs> Gary, how you doing, brother? It's the prize of a stuffed... Maple leaf? I'd like one stuffed maple leaf, please. Gary, you'll be excited to know that we have both your Sim and Lemley Sim both in the Big Brother Challenge. And it was, it was rolled randomly. There is an in-game romance between Gary and Lemley. They actually are a showmance in the game as well. Here's the proof. Romantic level is high between Lemley and Gary. It was completely random. We rolled it, but we thought it was great that uh, Gary and Lemley can't even get away from her in someone else's video game. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they're a showmance in this Big Brother house challenge. Gary Raxer Sim and Lemley Lemming Sim <laughs> are an item. They're the first in-show romance of this Big Brother house challenge, and now they're chowing down on popcorn together, apparently. Yeah, sharing the same bed in the house even. even. Feel the love. <laughs> oh, look, they're content. They're two content Sims. They're like, you know what? We Oh, there's Panda. <laughs> Panda's grabbing himself some morning uh, popcorn. Panda Peasant Sim. One of our other uh, Big Brother House Challenge competitors. There we go. I love that <laughs> popcorn is the food of choice. Yeah, how are you, Gary? How have you been? Gary, was yesterday your birthday stream? Did I miss your birthday stream again? Lemley's gonna tidy up. I love when the Sims are wearing... Panda is good. Good Sims are happy. When others around them are happy, and they seek to improve the world. Don't mind this panda. <laughs> Everyone else got sleeping. Lemley is using the washroom. 
Gary, oh, by love when Sims wear costumes, their voice sounds muffled inside the costume. That's really great. Lemley is washing her hands after the washroom. Very good. Good hygiene. Gary wants to go work out. He wants to go do some heavy lifting. Okay, Lemley, are you going to go to a right tablet? Yep. Okay, good. Here we go, Gary. Gonna go work on those gains. Just finishing up on Monster Hunter. Nice. Yes, and uh, was yesterday your birthday stream? I'm trying to remember if yesterday was your your birthday event. Boho Glitch Sim is up. She's gonna go grab herself some morning uh, popcorn with her bunny slippers on. Lemley's feeling confident. Now she's happy. Lemley's feeling happy this morning, as she should. The sim I made for you this morning had her party outfit as the gnome costume. <laughs> I was so pumped for party day. It wasn't really a celebration birthday stream. Uh, it wasn't really a birthday a celebration stream? What was it then, Gary? What was the... What was the theme or the... The feel for that time? Panda and Boho Glitch hanging out, eating some popcorn. GB simulation is uncomfortable because he has to use the washer. And Gary's working out there. So it's going to be a quiet morning in the household, but once it hits 1 p.m. game time, we're going to figure out some new conflicts and alliances, and I think we're going to nominate who are the first nominees for eviction from the household. Steve L.A. Sim is going to decide who are the three Sims that are going to get nominated for eviction from the house. Alright, GB needs some morning popcorn. Man, everybody just eats popcorn. Sims love those popcorn machines. Gary wants to use a bold pickup line on someone. You should... We've got Lemley Lemming Sim to do that. Shotgun's awake. She's gonna go use the washroom. Shotgun, don't let me forget that we still have to let your Sim uh, do laundry. Uh, GB is gonna make some more popcorn. Man, that's all these guys eat! Just popcorn! When you throw a bunch of streamers into a Big Brother house challenge, all they do is place tablet all day and eat popcorn. Apparently. Gary's feeling confident. Look at that confident walk. Look at that really... Gary walks into the house like he... like he owns the place. Shotgun's using the washroom. Lemley and Panda are hanging out. Just staring at each other, apparently. <laughs> oh, someone wants to give Gary free e free earbuds. Uh, no, we're not going to give anyone free earbuds in this challenge. And now Bunny is making ice cream. I always have to do laundry. Why don't you do the laundry, damn it? <laughs> Well, apparently your sim wants to do laundry. That's one of her whims that she wants to do. Glitch is going to work on her chess game. GB made more popcorn. He made cheddar popcorn, it looks like. Gary wants some of that cheddar popcorn. He's like, give me some of that cheddar popcorn. Give me some of that cheddar. Steve Steve is the first head of household of the game, which is kind of like the, the head honcho of the house. So he has this whole room... To himself. He gets this big bed, he gets his own bathroom. Uh, players complete competitions in order to win status as head of household, and Steve became the first head of household of this Big Brother house competition. I love that Panda's still in his panda outfit. That's amazing. Shotgun feels better. Warbunny has finished creating a carton of Baccio Gelato. Baccio Gelato? What's Baccio Gelato? What is that? Bunch of Sims hanging out, eating some popcorn together. 
Oh, but GB Simulation, he ain't got time to socialize. He's working on the punching bag. Okay, Shotgun's gonna go creep over to have a morning shower. So what are you guys' uh, plans for the rest of the day? What are you up to for this Sunday? Just taking it easy? Got plans to go out anywhere? It's the last holiday weekend. School starts back up for a lot of people. Starting this week. Ooh, Steve is up. Steve L.A. Sim is up and he needs some morning cheddar popcorn. Oh, Panda's got to go and work out. He's going to go hit the weights. This Panda has to go hit the weights. I'm going to see if I can make some popcorn. I have no plans. I'm burnt out. Eat junk food and play games. That sounds good, Shotgun. But you're actually going to make some popcorn now. All this popcorn eating has made you uh, crave some actual popcorn. Alright, Shotgun. Shotgun, are you naked? Shotgun ain't got no clothes on. There she goes. Now she's got some clothes on. Um, Shotgun, is there laundry to do now? Let's see if we can do some laundry here now. Here we go. Do, well, yeah. Do laundry. Add to the washing machine. She wants to meet a dog. <sighs> uh, I could bring a dog in the house. I just don't know if I want that dynamic at play. We're going to let uh, Shotgun do some laundry here. Oh, Gary and Lemley. Gary and Lemley could be having a moment here. What's Gary and Lemley up to here? They're hanging out. Okay, but Shotgun's feeling confident. She wants to do some laundry. Hectic Jackal, how are you doing, brother? How have you been? I believe, uh, what were you streaming today? Was it, um, Rainbow Six? What were you, what were you streaming today? I'm trying to remember. Shotgun's gonna do some laundry. Start it up. Wash the laundry. Any day now, Shotgun. <laughs> Any day now, hit those buttons. Sometimes I find when I've got eight sims on the lot, I have to switch to buy mode and then live mode, and sometimes that, for some reason, makes sims finally do something. There we go. Now she's pushing the buttons. Hectic's doing good. All right, laundry's underway. Lemley's gonna play some tablet. Bunny's gonna go use the washroom. Boho glitch sim, she needs to use the washroom too. GB is eating some cheddar popcorn. <laughs> Gary is having a casual conversation with the head of household. Steve L.A. Sim. Steve's feeling confident. As he should be, considering he's the head of household here. Panda Peasant Sim is still uh, working out. Working those muscles. Getting in shape. Oh, Shotgun wants to work on her logic game. She's gonna play Boho Glitch. Nope. She's gonna work on her logic game by herself. Let's check to see if that laundry is ready to dry yet. Nope, laundry is still running. <laughs> Boho's pajamas. They're great. I don't really celebrate my birthday. It's not a thing for me. That fight took longer than I thought. <laughs> that fight. <laughs> Um, you don't really celebrate your birthday. It's not a thing for you. Um, but it was that not the uh, point of your stream yesterday? Was yesterday not supposed to be um, a chance to uh, celebrate a year of streaming or a year of birthday? I remember it was supposed to be a celebration of some sort. Because I wanted to make a point of being there and supporting you and I wasn't there. I was Mom Monster Hunter. But I didn't expect the fight to go on as long, so I started chatting instead of lurking. Oh, and Monster Hunter. Okay, gotcha. GB and Shotgun are hanging out. And Gary and Lemley are hanging out. Steve's staring forlornly into the distance. <laughs> Panda's still working out, but the actual date would be 19th of September. Ah, 
Yeah, I have uh, a birthday coming up, and I have a stream anniversary coming up as well. Yeah, I think September 6th is my stream anniversary. And my birthday is on the 7th, so I'm thinking of doing something um, for that time. Alright, Shotgun, let's see if we can do some laundry here. Can we dry that laundry? It is what she wants to do. Oh no, the laundry's still going. Lemley's eating some cheddar popcorn. Boho and and War Bunny are somehow morphing into one another. <laughs> some supernatural phenomena is taking place here on the uh, Big Brother House Challenge. <laughs> uh, do we have the opportunity now? Here we go. Unload and move laundry. Add to dryer. Here we go. Shotgun, you gotta switch laundry over. <laughs> The uh, glitching here, the sims are just kind of occupying the same place here. Oh, what's going on? Here we go. Creep on over to the dryer there, shotgun. So apparently notifications for your stream turned off, and I don't have the option to turn them back on. When I click on the drop down next to the green follow heart, the switch to turn on notifications when you go live is grayed out and unselectable. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Renaissance. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Welcome to the stream anyways. Thanks for being here. You know we still appreciate you being here, though. No matter what time you can get here, it's always appreciated, Renaissance. We're doing the Big Brother House Challenge. And uh, Steve L.A. Sim is the first head of household. And very soon here, we're going to do another... Uh, what? Well, right now, actually, we're going to do another conflict. So you missed two hours of this because Twitch didn't email you. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Renaissance. Sorry about that. You can always go back and watch the videos afterwards. Um, I've always got the video on demand afterwards. Um, okay, it's time to do some more actions. So let's look up here. Let's roll to see what we're going to do. We're going to randomly choose an action section. So let's uh, bring up the Big Brother actions file. And let's see what happens on... You like to watch The Sims, so, oh, the videos are never as good as seeing it live, but oh well. I appreciate that, uh, Renaissance. Very appreciated. All right, let's see what action happens here. Day two of the Big Brother House Challenge. What do we got? You need to be very smart to play Puppet Master, and you always run the risk of being exposed. Right now, this Sim is doing a great job. So increase friendship points by 20 with the Sim with the highest logic skill and the whole house. Okay, who has the highest logic skill? Let's check it out. Uh, Panda Peasant Sim has a logic skill of seven. I think Shotgun's got 10 on her logic skill. She does have 10, so so far it's Shotgun who's being a puppet master. What's Lemley's logic skill? Lemley's logic is 10 as well. We have a tie between Shotgun and Lemley. Um, Bunnies is three, Boho Glitch is one, GB Simulation is three, Gary Raxersim's logic skill is five, and Steve L.A. Sim has a logic skill of two. All right, so Lemley and Shotgun are tied. So what I'm going to do is we're going to say that Shotgun and Lemley are both acting as puppet masters right now in the house. They're both doing a good job of kind of manipulating people behind the scenes. So I'm going to give each of them an increase of 20 friendship points with everyone. So let's go to Shotgun first. And let's increase her relationship with GB Simulation by 20. So she's going to have 45. With War Bunny, it's going to be 35. With Boho Glitch, it's going to be 41. With uh, da, 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 Lemley Lemmingson, where is Lemley? Why does she have no... Where's her relationship with Lemley? Okay. Let's fix that. Relationships. Uh, add relationship with Sim on lot. Why does she have no score with uh, Lemley? What? Has she not met Lemley yet? 
Well, I guess they don't have to meet each other yet because they're they're both kind of competing right now. So never mind that. Uh, did we already change War Bunnies? We did. GB we already changed. Gary. We got to add 20 to Gary. So she now has a relationship, relationship score of 45 with Gary. And then Steve L.A. Sim. She's going to have a relationship score of 39. Okay, let's go to Lemley. And uh, let's change her relationship levels with everybody. So Lemley gets a 20-point raise with Panda. So that becomes 52. Um, with War Bunny, she gets a raise in relationship points. With War Bunny, that's going to be 35. With uh, Boho Glitch Sim. With Boho Glitch Sim, it's going to be 35. Uh, for GB Simulation, it's going to be a relationship of 45. With Gary Raxer Sim, it's going to be 51 on the friendship level. And with Steve L.A. Sim, it's going to be 35. Okay. There we go. Back for a sec to see who got eliminated slash nominated. So no nominations yet, but we just determined that uh, Shotgun and Lemley are acting as puppet masters. They're really manipulating people behind the sign, behind the scenes, and uh, they got a friendship point increase with everybody in the house because of their high logic skill. Because Shotgun and Lemley both have a logic skill of 10, they've both been able to manipulate everyone into really liking them in the competition. Okay, now we're gonna randomly select a conflict. So let's look up uh, conflicts here. Big Brother Conflict. Conflict is another no conflict. We rolled another six. They are but pawns in our game of chess. Wow, no conflict again. It's been a no conflict house so far. Now we're going to roll for the Alliance section. Okay, Big Brother Alliances. Alliance is no new alliances today. Wow. It's been an uneventful first couple of days here. Uh, no conflict, no alliances. Randomly select a sim and choose one of their whims to complete. Did we end up completing? Yep, we completed Shotgun's Drying Laundry sim. So let's choose another sim randomly to have their uh, whim determined. Let's roll out of the total eight. And it's going to be Gary. Gary Raxer sim is going to get to complete one of his whims. What does he want right now? He wants to hug someone. He wants to be funny with Panda. He wants to play some foosball. What's going to get him the most... Reward. Those are 25. They're all 25, so... Uh, where's Lemley? What's she doing? She's just eating. Panda is working out. Um, let's let Gary play some foosball. We'll let him play some foosball to uh, get that need done. Uh, play with um, Panda. Let's do that. Gary's going to play some foosball with Panda to fulfill that whim for himself. So Gary Raxer Sim gets to fulfill a whim. There we go, yep. Fulfilling whims is uh, good for the Sims in the competition because their mood gets better, they get happier. Uh, they do better in competitions after that. So Gary is gonna go play some foosball with Panda Peasant Sim. That's kind of a weird uh, dismount off the patio. There we go, so that should, uh, that should fulfill that... Uh, he could probably tell a joke to Panda while he's here, too. So let's let him do that. Let's let him tell a knock-knock joke while he's there as well, and that'll be it. Okay, so he got that whim completed. Okay, next is... After we do that, at 4 p.m., nominations will begin. You will pick the house guests, which have the lowest friendship score with the head of household. These will be your nominations for eviction. Um, so how does that... Sorry, let me just double check something here. How do I... I thought it was three people you choose for eviction. Is that right? For nominations? Uh, 
Let me check the uh, head of household again here. Where is it? Where is it? You'll pick the house guests which have the lowest friendship score with the head of household. These will be your nominations for eviction. I thought it was three that you did. Is that right? Do I have that incorrect? I thought it was three nominations you make. Where am I getting that from? Where am I getting that from? Two nominees. Okay, so we nominate two Sims with the lowest score to be on the nomination for evictions. Okay. Okay. Got it. And that's at 4 p.m. game time we do that. All right. So we're going to let these guys play out their day here. And then at 4 o'clock in game time, we're going to name the first two nominees for eviction. Steve L.A. Sim gets to decide who they are. Gary and Panda playing some foosball. Shotgun playing some chess, working on her logic skills, working on her puppet skills to control the competitors in this challenge. Lemley is going to go and have a conversation with uh, Boho Glitch Sim. I love how they just sit around and eat popcorn all the time. It is quite funny. It's just all popcorn. All popcorn all the time in Big Brother. GB is having a conversation with Steve. And no real conflict so far. We haven't had too many... Too many arguments, too many fights. None of that happening. Steve L.A. Sim is the guy you want to be building uh, conversations with right now. Because he's going to choose who are the first two nominees for eviction. <laughs> Panda doesn't like foosball. He's like, oh, I hate this game anyways. What's Shotgun doing? Oh, she's going to go unload the laundry and put it away. For some reason, the Shotgun Simark Sim loves doing laundry. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> He's trying to show off his water bottle balancing skills. <laughs> Xander, can you go do that someplace else, please? Thank you, buddy. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. What's Lemley doing? She's happy. She's put some clothes on. There we go. She's back in her hot dog outfit. She's back in her hot dog outfit. Bunny's taking a shower. He's getting all cleaned up. Oh, also, after we decide who are the first nominees for eviction, we have to decide who are the have-nots. Who are the people who only get to sleep on benches and can only eat applesauce for a number of days. It's not a good situation to be in. GB wants to go take a shower. Gary's still having fun playing uh, foosball with Panda, apparently. Steve's just chowing down on some cheddar popcorn. And here we go. We're counting down to the first nominations for eviction. Which will happen at 4 p.m. Is Lemley joining them for the foosball game? Lemley's getting in on the foosball action now. Alright, it's 4 o'clock. It's time to decide who are the first nominees for eviction. The house, the two house guests which have the lowest friendship score with the head of household. Well, let's look at Steve. And let's look at his relationships and see what we got. The two lowest friendship levels would be... Um... I think it's going to be Bunny's got 15, uh, Boho's got 21, Panda's got 25, and Gary has 28. So I think it's going to be Bunny and Boho. <gasps> oh, guys. I think it's going to be War Bunny and Boho Glitch Sim are the first two nominees for eviction. Oh, there we go. All right, it's official. War Bunny and Boho Glitch Sim are going to be the first two nominees for eviction from the Big Brother House Challenge. Now we got to roll a nominee action for each nominee. 
for each nominee. Okay, here we go. Let's put our roller over here. And let's pick nominees. Big Brother nominee actions. For Bunny, what do we get? Lalo, this sim knows when to keep their mouth shut. No added conflict for War Bunny. Dreams, how are you doing, brother? Welcome to the stream. What's messed up? The Big Brother house challenge? Okay, so no conflict for War Bunny. Now for Boho Glitch Sim, what do we get? Cry Baby, no one likes a pity party. This mopey sim is bumming everyone out. Decrease five friendship points with all house guests. Oh my goodness, Boho Glitch Sim is crying about being named a nominee for eviction. Oh my goodness. Poor Boho Glitch Sim. Now we have to lower her friendship points with everybody by five points. Okay, so Panda. Panda goes down to 20 friendship points. Uh, shotgun goes down to 36 friendship points with Boho Glitch. Uh, Lemley goes down to 31. Uh, War Bunny goes down to 10 friendship points with Boho Glitch. There's GB. GB Simulation. Goes down to 20 friendship points with Boho Glitch. Yes. Yes. Uh, Gary Raxer Sim, he's gonna go down to 20 friendship points with Boho Glitch Sim. And then lastly, her score with Steve LA Sim is gonna go even lower. And it's now gonna be at 16 points with Steve L.A. Sim. Oh man. So are we evicting everyone? <laughs> no, only one person's gonna get evicted, but right now Boho Glitch Sim, it does not look good for her in the Big Brother House Challenge. Okay, now we're gonna choose three Sims at random to be the have-nots. Uh, the head of household cannot be a have-not. Uh, these three Sims are gonna need to sleep in the have-not room until a Sim is evicted. Okay, so. We're going to choose three sims at random to be the have-nots of the house. So, not Steve. Yeah, first have-not is going to be Lemley Lemming Sim. Oh, Lemley Lemming Sim is going to be one have-not. Next have-not is going to be... Uh, one, two, three, four... GB! GB Simulation is going to be a have-not. And finally, Panda Peasant Sim is going to be a have-not. So Panda, Lemley, and GB are going to be the first have-nots of the game. So Panda, Lemley, and GB all have to sleep in this room here on these benches. And they can only eat applesauce until someone is evicted from the house. And we're going to let them interact autonomously for the uh for the rest of this day okay that is that okay where is gb gb is taking a shower all right so war bunny and boho glitch are on the chopping block i did panda and panda and lemley just fist bump there that's awesome Steve L.A. Sim named War Bunny and Boho Glitch Sim as his first nominees for eviction, guys. Not a good situation for them to be in. These guys playing some foosball. Where's War Bunny at? War Bunny's fine. He's got some dry clothing. Sometimes it's the little things in life that mean the most. War Bunny's just fine. He's not really overly good. Boho Glitch Sim was being a little mopey a bit earlier. She was being a bit a bit whiny to everybody for being named a nominee for eviction. Okay, 
Well, Steve L.A. Sim. Why is Steve taking a shower down there? He's got the head of household room all to himself. So I have to remember, Panda, Lemley, and GB are the have-nots. I have to remember that. Shotgun's gonna go cook some more buttered popcorn, apparently. Oh, but Lemley's gonna make some popcorn. Lemley's gonna make some kettle corn. You can't eat any kettle corn, though, Lemley. You can only eat applesauce. Hey! GB's cheating eating popcorn. No popcorn for you, GB. You gotta eat applesauce. Only applesauce for GB. Um, nope, Lemley, you're not gonna make spaghetti. You're gonna have a quick meal of applesauce. What's uh, War Bunny doing? He's trolling the forums. He's trolling people online. And Boho Glitch Sim is going for a little swim in the Big Brother house pool. GB is talking to Steve L.A. Sim, trying to build up his, uh, his friendship with the head of household. And Panda and Gary are still having a good time playing foosball here. Oh, Panda's feeling uncomfortable. He needs to he needs to get something to eat. And he's feeling all grungy. Oh, shotgun's making ice cream. She is making cherry ice cream, apparently. Shotgun is making some cherry ice cream to enjoy. Lemley is eating her applesauce. War Bunny is trolling the forums on a tablet. <laughs> Boho Glitch Sim still enjoying her swim. Ah, GB Simulation is uh, working out a bit more. Oh, Gary is uncomfortable now too. He's got to eat. They're like, stop playing foosball. We got to eat. <laughs> What's uh, Steve off to do? He's off to wash some dishes. These guys are still playing foosball. They should not be playing foosball. Shotgun has finished creating a carton of cherry ice cream. Nice. The carton has been added to her inventory. Look at that. Look at that ice cream. That's pretty nice. Little cherry ice cream cone. Emily Lemmingson is washing her hands. Um, is, are you able to get out of the pool? Should be able to. Everyone else has gotten out of the pool. Nice thing about Sims 4, you don't need to build ladders. And you can't really uh, kill your Sims anymore. Drown them in the pool that way. GB is still working out, getting pumped. What a brilliant game of foosball. Panda beat Gary 5-4. to four. Oh, look at that. Panda beat Gary at foosball. These guys are tired. Back, what'd you miss? Well, uh... So Steve named his first two nominees for eviction. And they are War Bunny and Boho Glitch Sim. War Bunny didn't seem to react too much to be named a, uh... A nominee for eviction, but Boho Glitch cried about it, and it decreased her friendship points with everybody. Shortly after that, we named the first three have-nots. The first three have-nots, people who can only sleep on these benches, and they can only eat applesauce, um, are Lemley Lemming Sim, Panda Peasant Sim, and GB Simulation. They're the first three have-nots for the game. Panda, you don't get to eat spaghetti. You gotta eat applesauce. Let's give you a quick meal of applesauce. You, your sim just made herself GB. No popcorn for you. You gotta eat applesauce. Go get yourself some applesauce. You don't get to eat cheddar popcorn. Shotgun Simark made herself an ice cream cone. She made herself a cherry. I was a have not in high school. <laughs> Shotgun's enjoying a uh, cherry ice cream cone. Oh, you don't get to sleep in your bed anymore, Lemley. 
You don't get to sleep in there anymore. You gotta nap on the bench. You gotta nap on this now. War Bunny is still trolling some forums. And Boho Glitch Sim is eating some popcorn, having a casual conversation with a shotgun. Panda, you don't get to eat popcorn. No, no popcorn for you, buddy. You gotta eat applesauce. Only applesauce for Panda. Oh, did I not open the door? Okay, yeah, I can open it up. Okay. So, gotta give uh, the have-nots access to the have-not room. So, allow access to Lemley. Um, allow access to Panda. And allow access to GB. Alright, Lemley. You go take a nap on that bench. Alright. Oh, look at Steve go! Look at Steve cook! Woo! Look at these skills! Look at Steve's uh, cooking skills! This is what it's covered in newspapers. <laughs> I know the the bushes can be used as a washroom, and they can nap uh, in there as well. Oho Glitch Sim is eating his applesauce. Gary Raxer Sim is eating a bowl of popcorn. Steve is cooking stuff. Panda Peasant Sim's cleaning up his dishes. Good vibes. Panda's getting some good vibes. He loves to bask in the positive emotions of other Sims. Panda <laughs> shotgun's creeping around. Poor Lemley Lemming Sim. She has to sleep on this bench all the time. War Bunnies having a casual discussion with Boho Glitch Sim. Maybe talking about being uh, nominees for eviction, that the two of them have been named for eviction. GB is clearing some dishes. But they're all just standing around. Sometimes I have to go into buy mode and then live mode just to get them all moving again. Yeah, see, it's really weird. It's like they all just pause. Oh, Steve just made himself some spaghetti. Gary is 10 out of 10 with the violin. Have him play a sad tune for the have-nots. <laughs> that would be good. If we had a violin in the house, I would definitely... I would definitely have him do that. Panda's having a casual discussion with Bunny, with Shotgun, and with Boho. And Shotgun's just having a drink and a casual conversation in the kitchen. Lemley's still sleeping on that bench. Bunny's feeling pretty confident, even though he's one of the nominees for eviction, he still feels pretty confident. So does Boho Glitch then. She still feels pretty confident as well. GB feels good because he uh, had a good punching bag workout. He's got some clean laundry. He's got some pristine clothing going on because Shotgun did some laundry. So that's nice. Gary Raxer Sim is hanging out in the kitchen as well. Steve L.A. Sim is enjoying the spaghetti that he cooked up, although he's a little isolated from the rest of the crowd there. Is he feeling the loneliness as the head of household? So many perks could make uh, Steve a target. Could put a, a target on the back of Steve. Put a target on Steve's back. Oh, Shotgun got to fulfill a whim by talking to people. Oh, Lemley's woken up from her nap. <laughs> so then the next day, on day three, there's going to be another actions, conflict, and alliances. Another sim gets to complete their whim. And then there's going to be a power of veto competition. 
where one sim could have an opportunity to veto one of the nominations that Steve has for eviction. So that could be a pretty, pretty important competition. Uh, GB, you need to go for a slab that's available. Uh, what was he going to do? He wanted to troll the forums? GB Simulation wants to troll the forums? Is GB Sim a bit of a troll? He may just be. Oh, look at how filthy Panda is. Panda needs to go take a shower. Oh my goodness. Shotgun has to use the washroom. A bunch of the Sims are like, they all gotta use the washroom. Steve's using the washroom. Panda's gotta get all tidied up. Lemley's just sitting, hanging out in the have-nots room. Everyone is a target because a shotgun has a wide spray. Nice. Nicely done. Alright, War Bunny and Boho Glitch possibly still commiserating over both being nominees for eviction. No bean flurva. Oh, and Gary, all alone in his bed without Lemley. Because Lemley doesn't have access to that bed anymore. And Lemley's just hanging out there, apparently. Boho Glitch doing some dishes. She's gonna go to bed. Oh, GB, you don't get to sleep in that bed no more. You don't get to sleep in that bed no more. You gotta sleep on a bench. You gotta go to the bitch. You gotta go nap on that bitch. You are a have not. Uh, uh, <laughs> Lemley is reenacting oh. a beautiful mind. <laughs> Panda was uh, singing in the shower a minute ago. All right, shotgun's gonna call it a night. Lemley's just kind of hanging around. So is War Bunny. Boho went to bed. GB's got to go nap on a bench. Poor guy. Go to the bench, son. GB has to go sleep on the bench. Uh, Lemley's going to go play some chess. While Panda uses the washroom, Panda's probably going to have to go nap on the bench. He's looking pretty tired. Steve, what are you doing, brother? There we go. He's going to go to sleep in his head of household room, his posh little... Head of household room? Oh no, Panda, you don't get to sleep in the nice bed. You gotta sleep on this bench. There you go, sleep on the bench. Now, oh, Lemley's working on her logic skills. Everybody else is asleep. Everyone else has gone to bed. Oh, shotgun. Shotgun says that she's happy. She should be asleep. She's talking in her sleep. No, 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 Lemley. No nice bed. Let's get you another bench. Uh, let's grab another bench here. Let's go to buy mode. And we'll eyedropper the stink man's wall bench. Object is currently locked. What? Unlock by reaching level 3 of the detective career. Oh, no. Let's get her... Uh, is there another uncomfortable bench? What's the comfort on that? Comfort's one. Is there no other comfort one bench? The bottomman. That's comfort one. Okay, she can nap on that there. Can nap on this. If you're gonna sleep, Lemley, you're gonna sleep on that. I know you want to sleep with Gary, but you can't, because you're a have-not. Gotta sleep on the bench. Why is Shotgun still awake? <laughs> Says that she's happy. She should be asleep. Look, sleeping soundly. 
Oh, she walked in on something she was never meant to see. That's funny. Oh, Gary's up. Because he has to use the washroom. Gora! He was sleeping soundly, but then he had to use the washroom. Go use the washroom and then go back to bed, Gary. Hey, I could be happy in my sleep. <laughs> no, you can't sleep with your husband. You're not allowed. She's a have-not. She's a have-not. She's not allowed to sleep with you. In the good bed no more. Go ahead and use the washroom, Gary, and then we'll send you back to bed. Your nice posh bed without Lemley. Gary, what's the problem? Quit lagging. Quit lagging and use the washroom. Boy, Gary really had to go. There was no, no hesitation there. Okay, that was weird. GB is awake now. Okay, let's send Gary back to bed. Go back to sleep in your bed, Gary. GB is wide awake. He's like, what have I done? What did I do to deserve this? To be a have-not. Why do I gotta be a have-not? Well, GB is wise, wise while I'm awake. I might as well work on my logic skills as GB simulation. And we'll fast forward a little bit here. Because it's just him awake. Oh, Panda's awake now. Panda's woken up. What? No, Panda, you're not sleeping in a nice bed. You go back on that bench. You go back to nap on that bench. Don't try to sneak off onto a nice bed. You gotta sleep on that uncomfortable bench. <laughs> it still says that shotgun's awake. It's so funny. What a bug. All right, GB is going to go work out. He's like, okay, I might be a have-not, but I can still be physically fit. Get back to your bench, boy. GB can still be physically fit. He can still work on his exercise skills. Lemley awake. Lemley's awake. She woke up from her nap on the bottoman, it's called. What a great name for a couch. The Bottoman. Well, GB's happy. He's happy that he's exercising. He's feeling a little warm because it's kind of hot outside. It's a warm summer day. Alright, Lemley wants to go play on a slablet. She wants to troll the forums. Go troll the forums, Lemley. Go troll them. See, the have-nots also get fairly sporadic sleep because they take these naps on these very uncomfortable surfaces. So it can change the competition for them when they're trying to win a chance to veto an eviction or, or what have you. But right now, War Bunny and Boho Glitch Sim are the possible Sims that could be evicted. But on day three, there's going to be a competition, and it's going to give both War Bunny and Boho Glitch Sim a chance to earn the right to veto one of those nominations so that they wouldn't get uh, evicted from the house by Steve L.A. Sim. I believe in my wiener wife. She ain't your wiener wife in this game, Shotgun. Not in this game. Lemley's up and playing. It's like three, four o'clock in the morning. And these Sims are up in the middle of the night. Panda's still napping on his bench. He's feeling a little lonely, though. His social need is a little low. He's got to hang out with some people. Ah, uh, nice try to sneak in some popcorn there, Lemley. No popcorn for you. You gotta have applesauce. Only applesauce for you, Lemley Lemming Sim. Oh, 
Bunny's up. Harpin, Harpin. <laughs> the war bunny is up and he needs to use the washroom. Well, the sun should be rising soon. The sun should be rising soon on day three <laughs> at the Big Brother household. Oh, Panda's up. Dude, sit up. He's like, I, I can do this. I can do this, he says. I'm gonna take this challenge. Panda doing now. Nope. No popcorn for you. Have a quick meal of applesauce. War Bunny's feeling playful after using the washroom this morning. By the way, look at these nice little bunny slippers on War Bunny. If Shotgun Sim doesn't win, I vote for Panda. Oh, that's nice of you. Check out those bunny slippers. Little bunny slippers on Panda. GB, what you doing? No, 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 GB. No, 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 GB. You don't get to do that. You gotta sleep on the bench. GB, you gots to sleep on the bench. Panda gets to eat some applesauce. What's she doing? No, no, no. You don't get to nap on a nice couch there, Lemley. You gotta nap on the bench. Nice try, Lemley Lemmingsim. Nice try. Panda and Bunny are commiserating. I like the sleep police, I know. <laughs> well, I gotta be, otherwise they, they'll they try to get away with everything. They'll try to make things as uh, comfortable as they can. Boho Glitch Sim is awake, using the washroom, hoping that she does not get evicted from the household. GB and Lemley are both sleeping on the bench. War Bunny is saying to Peasant Sim, I hope I don't get evicted. Panda Peasant Sim says it sucks to be a have-not. But I am the sleep police on this game, Shotgun, it's true. Look, everybody eats popcorn for breakfast. Boho Glitch Sim just got herself a bowl full of popcorn for breakfast. My goodness. Okay, so day three, we're gonna, at one o'clock, we're gonna randomly choose from the actions, conflict, and alliance sections. So we'll see if any new alliances or any new conflicts emerge in the game. So far, Shotgun and Lemley have been kind of puppet mastering things behind the scenes. Letting their influence be known in the game. Ah, soon a nib dub. <laughs> Shotgun awake yet? Shotgun's still fast asleep. She's fast asleep. I hope it's not glitched and that she's gonna end up sleeping the whole day. That would suck. War Bunny's feeling fairly confident. Panda's gonna clean up some dishes. Someone drugged my sim. Rigged. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see if she wakes up. I mean, her energy meter is full, but it's still only 6.35 in the morning, so I guess she could sleep in for a little bit longer. I'm not crying foul yet, shotgun. But it's close. Panda's cleaning up the kitchen, trying to earn himself some bonus points. Pretty tasty. This was a fairly tasty dish. Big Brother House Challenge Sims love to eat popcorn. That's all it is, is popcorn and ice cream all day long. Go ahead, Panda. Go for it. Clean off those dishes. You can do it. All right, we're going to wake up. Shotgun, let's wake her up. Wake her up so she ain't rigged. Everybody's place a tablet. He loved, and they love trolling people on the forums. Apparently, that's a that's a favorite activity for Big Brother House Challenge Sims too. Go ahead and do some dishes, Panda. 
Ah, uh, see, and Panda's trying to sneak in. Oh no, you're cleaning up dishes, okay. They always try to sneak in popcorn and comfortable places to sleep. That's what they're always trying to do. Oh, GB and Lemley are awake. How are those hard, cold surfaces, guys? What's it like being in the have-not room? Oh, GB, what are you trying to eat? No popcorn for you. No popcorn for you. You get applesauce. All right, Boho Glitch has got to go have a shower. GB is going to... You're so mad at the have-nots. <laughs> so do I got to keep them in line. Got to keep those have-nots in line. Oh, Gary's up. Steve L.A. Sim is still fast asleep in his head of household room. <gasps> Panda. Sneaking into a nice bed. Nice try. You go nap. You go nap on that bench, Panda Peasant Sim. You should be ashamed of yourself for trying to cheat the system. Oh, Lemley's, Lemley's talking to Gary like, I miss our bed. I just wish I could be back in our nice, comfortable bed. Oh, there's some more laundry to do. Boho Glitch is all clean. Go ahead and uh, put some clothes back on, Boho. There you go. And GB and Shotgun are hanging out chatting. Gary's going to try the sm smuggle the bed in for Lem. Yeah. <laughs> or smuggle them into the bed. Steve L.A. Sim is awake. He's woken up. And he's playing some foosball to start off his day. Oh, it's kind of an overcast uh, summer day today. Little, little overcast. Uh, what is Shotgun doing? She is eating some popcorn. Oh, Shotgun's making some more cheddar popcorn. Lemley's gonna clean up some dishes. Bunny's going to clean up some dishes. No, I meant what I said. <laughs> Gary's gonna smuggle the bed in for Lem. <laughs> Pardon me. Don't let me... Don't let me change that plan. Don't let me alter the plan. GB is having a casual discussion with Shotgun. What's Lemley doing? Lemley has to use the washer? What's wrong? Why don't you... Why don't you go and do it? What's the problem, Lemley? Go use the washer. Morning foosball for Steve L.A. Sim. Lemley's gonna go and use the washroom. Uh, Boho Glitch has a little bit of a fascination with uh, chess. Her logic skill is pretty low, so I think she kind of wants to build up that logic skill for this Big Brother house competition. GB again, having some more casual discussion. I need to get more sim packs. I love a lot of this stuff. Yeah, it is pretty great, eh? The, the decorations, the lights on the walls here are pretty great. There's a lot of good decorations in this house. Panda Peasant Sim sleeping on his bench. <laughs> They're all kind of standing around like that. I wonder whether one of them is kind of glitched with their dishes. Oh, Gary stinks. Gary needs a shower. You go get tidied up, Gary. Go clean yourself up. I like the sand floor. <laughs> the sand floor being here in the dining area. Gary is a goofball. Goofballs are often playful. Lemley Lemming Sim. 
Are you trying to take a nap on a nice comfy couch? No, 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 no. You go sleep on that bench. What's GB trying to do? GB is trying to sneak into a bed too. That ain't gonna happen. GB, you go nap on your bench. The dining room floor, yeah. I'm guessing that's a, uh, oh yeah, it is sand, isn't it? Huh. Is that really what that is? Or is it like a sand textured wood? Sand as a living room floor, it does not seem very strategic. That doesn't seem like a strategic choice of floor. Go into build mode and eyedropper it. Okay, let's check it out here. Sand between your toes. Yeah. Hold down the ship. It's a flooring. Sand between your toes. Like grass. Grass with wildflowers. Corrugated castle. Bottom of the basement. It is. It is sand. Sand as a kitchen room floor? I'm so confused, Shaka. I'm so confused. Today's mail has been delivered. Why would there be any need for mail in a Big Brother challenge? Why would there be any need, I tell you. I see no need. Lemley and GB are sleeping on benches. Lauren Side Sims 4, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome to the stream. We are playing a Big Brother House Challenge. Just started today. Today is day one of the uh, season one Big Brother House Challenge. These are all Sims based off of uh, subscribers to my channel. And we're doing a Big Brother House Challenge with all of them. Panda's gonna go and work out. But welcome to the stream, Lawrence. Shotgun's gonna help herself to some more popcorn. Lemley and GB, two of our have-nots, are sleeping it out in the have-not room. And it's a bit of an uh, overcast day. Lawrence, I'm guessing by your name that you do play Sims 4. Oh, these Sims are feeling in rough shape for being have-nots now. It's starting to... It's starting to catch up with them. Nice. I certainly welcome, Lorenz. Panda Peasant Sim may be a have-not, but that doesn't mean he isn't keeping up on his fitness skills, that's for sure. A panda needs his gains, that's right. Gotta keep in shape. That panda has to keep in shape. Uh, Steve L.A. Sim, what you doing? Steve L.A. Sim was like, Where, what's this garbage? What's this garbage all over the place? Is this going to be like the Hunger Game challenge, but without dying? Um, yeah, there, there won't be any dying. It's more modeled after the uh, Big Brother reality TV show, if you're familiar with that. Eight Sims get put into a house, and they're going to have a series of challenges that they compete. And eventually, over time, they're going to vote each other out. What is wrong with... What is going on with Shotgun's face? What is... Giggly, uncontrollable laughs are only funny for so long. What is... Why is her... Did her face become like that because she was laughing so much? Why is her... <laughs> what happened to Shotgun's face? What is happening? Why does she have those marks on her face? She's got an illness. She's giggly from illness. What? 
She wants to cure illness with medicine. She's sick. It looks like it's all over. She's sick. There might be some dying. Depends on the caterer. A shotgun actually got ill. She has an illness of some sort. And you can see it on her face. Wow. Okay. So that, that can happen, apparently. I've never seen that happen in a Sims 4 game. Wow. Oh, sink's broken. Okay, we're not going to bother. Uh, we're just going to replace it. Not going to bother calling the repair people. Wow. Um... So that's a thing. There's an illness that can kill Sims. I think one of them causes them to laugh. Whoa! Okay! Um... Well, we don't want her to die. So... Drinking medicine ordered from a computer can remedy sickness symptoms. Alright. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, well let's do this. Let's get her fixed. Oh my goodness. What, um... What do I order? Do I have to order medicine from the computer, from the slab lit, maybe? You have to go to a computer and order medicine, okay. We don't want Shotgun Simark to die from... Um, getting sick. Okay, we need a computer. Let's get a computer on here and then we'll ditch the computer after we, uh... After we use it. Let's have a Shotgun Simark order some medicine on the computer. More choices. Order... Purchase medicine. Wow. Okay, well that's interesting. <laughs> I can't believe one of our Sims just got sick during this challenge. Okay, Shotgun Simart contracted an illness of some sort. Okay. Well, it's time to roll some challenges here, so some action, so let's let's do that. We're going to have to randomly choose from the action section. So let's uh, go to our Big Brother actions, and what do we get? Extroverts thrive. If any of your sims has the outgoing or natural performer trait, increase their friendship levels with all house guests by 10 points. I'm pretty sure we have an outgoing sim in our crowd here. Let's, uh... Check out the personalities. I think Steve is outgoing. Um, no, not GB. Gary is outgoing, and so is Steve. So Gary and Steve... I'm so delicate, it's probably accurate. Gary and Steve each get 10 points increase relationships with everyone in the house because they're extroverts. Okay, so let's uh, increase Gary and Panda to 62. Uh, where's Shotgun there? Gary and Shotgun is going to be increased to 55. Uh, Gary and Lemley is going to be increased to 66. Gary and Bunny to 34. Gary and Boho to 30. Gary and GB to 34. And Gary and Steve to 39. Okay, and let's, uh, there's a fun disease that comes with the My First Pet Stuff pack. Um, is that, is that the disease that Shotgun has? Because I do have the My First Pet Stuff pack. Lawrence, how do I do that? I have a mod installed, uh, called the uh, UI Cheats extension. And it allows me to, uh, modify relationship levels between the Sims, um, so we can create tension, conflict, and love without necessarily having to go through all the work of making all of the interactions happen. Uh, so for Steve and Panda, we're going to add 10 points. Steve and Panda are going to be 34 because Steve is an outgoing sim. Uh, Steve and Shotgun. That's going to go up to 49. Steve and Lemley is going to be 45. Yes. 45 Steve and War Bunny 
is going to increase to 24. Steve and Boho is going to increase to 26. Steve and GB to 42. And I already gave an increase between Gary and Steve. That's not the one you had, but there's a specific one from a specific pet that can be fun. Oh, okay. Uh, what is it, just out of curiosity? What is the disease that they can catch? Okay, so Gary and Steve both get some extrovert uh, increases with their sims. Uh, now we're going to roll a conflict. We haven't had any conflicts yet. There haven't been any conflicts yet in our house. Let's roll this. Your self-assured sim won't listen to their alliance or friends if they have no alliance. Not a good idea to try to go your own way in this house. Decrease 10 friendship points with their closest friends. I don't think we have any um, self-assured sims in the house. Um, self-assured... Nope, no self-assured sims. So I'm going to roll that again. Let's roll the conflict again. 12 no conflicts. Still no conflicts in the house. Okay, now we're going to roll an alliance. Make another alliance roll here. Big Brother Alliances. Double showmance. Choose two pair of sims you're choosing to start showmances. These two pairs will also be in an alliance together. So increase the pair's romance 20 points with each other for new showmance. Increase each showmance's friendship by 30 with each other. Wow. Okay. A double showmance? Oh my goodness. All right. So let's see. So let's take... Um, shotgun Simark, who does she basically have the highest uh, friendship score with? It's either Gary or Steve. Steve is 49. GB is 46. Gary is 55. Gary's in a showmance with Lemley. So let's put Shotgun and GB in a showmance with each other. Um, so let me check that out. Increase the pair's romance points 20 with each other. Okay. So Shotgun Simark. We're going to put 20 romance points in there between her and GB. Uh, it's called Rabid Rodent Disease. You can get it from being bitten by a pet rodent that you don't have good relationship with. If you die from it, your sim will fall to the floor foaming at the mouth. And its ghost will be a we 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 wearing a rodent costume. Seriously, that's seriously a thing in Sims 4. That's hilarious. Okay, so Shotgun and GB now have a showmance going on. Boho Glitch Sim. Let's see who she has the highest relationship levels with. It would be potentially Steve, who's 26. I think it's gonna be Steve with a score of 26. Okay, so Boho Glitch Sim is going to have a showmance with Steve L.A. Sim. So let's give her uh, 20 romance points with the head of the household. Wow, so she was just about to be uh, evicted. She's one of the nominees for eviction. It's seriously a thing and it looks funny. That's awesome, Renaissance. So Boho Glitch Sim was one of the nominees for eviction. And now she just started a romance with Steve L.A. Sim, the head of household. To get out of being evicted, uh, Boho Glitch Sim has started a relationship with Steve L.A. Sim. And now they're forming an alliance with Shotgun and GB. So let me review the instructions here. Increase each showmance's friendship by 30 with each other. So not only do some new romances start, but Shotgun and GB... Boho and Steve are now forming an alliance together. Wow! That changes the game. That really changes the game. Um, okay, so let's give her 30 more friendship points with GB. That brings her up to 76. Uh, 30 more friendship points with Steve. 
That brings Steve up to 79. And 30 friendship points with Boho. So she now has a friendship of 66 with Boho Glitch. Um, Boho Glitch should now have... Yep, she's got a high res with Steve. She's going to need 30 more with Steve. So that will bring her up to 56. And her relationship with GB needs to go up by 30. So now Boho's relationship with... Wow, guys. This really changes the game. And this puts War Buddy a little more on the chopping block. <laughs> the poor guy. <laughs> okay, so GB has his... Uh... Did he get a 30 point increase with uh, Steve? No. So let's uh, increase that to 72 with Steve. Steve should have a high level with Boho, with GB, and with Shotgun. Um, okay. Wow. That really shifted. Wow. That, that alliance really changed it. That alliance changes a lot. Sarah CGPS, hello, welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Guys, if you're new to the stream, uh, please feel free to hit that follow button. Um, we had a double showmance startup, which is changing the Big Brother house challenge in a huge way. A big, powerful alliance just got started between Shotgun Simark, GB Simulation, Boho Glitch Sim, and Steve LA Sim. Yeah, that really changes the game. Okay, so now we're going to randomly select a sim uh, to have one of their whims completed. Um, so let's check the number eight. Which of the eight sims is going to get a whim completed? It is going to be GB Simulation. GB Simulation gets one of his whims completed. He wants to hug someone. He wants to practice dancing in a floor mirror. He wants to buy a microscope. Um, well, you just started a showmance with Shotgun Simark, so... Let's have him go and hug Shotgun. GB, GB Simulation is going to, give, going to give Shotgun a hug. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Is it Embrace or what do, what do they want? Yeah, Embrace. Okay, go for Romance. Embrace. There we go. Gary just became good friends with Panda. Oh yeah, and Shotgun ordered her uh, medication. Did Shotgun get her medication in her inventory? Lawrence, thank you for the follow. Thank you for dropping that follow. It's much appreciated. And then you gotta take your medicine after that. Let's uh, lose the computer now too. So let's uh, drop that computer. Um, did she end up hugging GB? Did GB get that hug? He did. Okay, good. Shotgun, you gotta take your medicine. No, 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 no. Take your medicine. Take your medicine so you can get rid of your illness. There we go. Okay. So hopefully that'll make Shotgun all better. Whew. Shotgun has taken medicine and has successfully combated her cold. I didn't want any of the Sims, uh unnecessarily getting sick and dying. That would not be good. Let's clean that up. War Bunny's hanging out. Wow. The powerful new alliance in the game. GB, you are still a have-not. No napping on the beds. You gotta go sleep on the bench. You gotta go nap over there, GB Simulation. And Steve L.A. Sim, who is the head of the household, had chosen Boho Glitch Sim as one of his nominations for, uh... Whoa. Is that muscles on Panda Peasant Sim? Panda Peasant Sim is buff. Yeah. What a half, Newt. <laughs> this, uh, this changes the game big time there. Well, Shotgun's feeling all flirty now. Now that she had a hug with GB. Lemley wants to hug Gary. He's like, oh, I have to sleep on a hard bench. I don't like this. 
Bunny's gonna take himself a nap. What is a half newt? Half newt? Half not? Oh, have not! Pardon me. So, three sims in the game were chosen to be have nots, which means they can only eat applesauce. Like Lemley here, she's not supposed to be eating popcorn, she's supposed to be eating applesauce. Um, what's Panda doing? It's Panda getting a drink? He can have a drink. Um, they can only eat applesauce, and they can only sleep on these benches. So have not means they do not have a lot. They don't have a lot. They don't have a comfortable place to sleep. Uh, they don't have comfortable things to eat. Uh, so it's a little harder for them to complete challenges and get things done. GB is napping. What's Gary doing? Gary wants to hug Panda? They're bros now, apparently. They're bros. Panda's looking... Panda got muscular all of a sudden. Look at that. Look at the muscles on Panda Peasant Sim. He just became muscular overnight. Crazy. Shotgun's gonna go use the toilet. Lemley is eating her applesauce. Bunny is napping. Boho Glitch Sim is enjoying some popcorn. GB is taking a nap on a bench. Gary and Lemley, the first showmats of this Big Brother House challenge. Steve's hanging out on his tablet. Panda, you can't uh, use the washer. What's the problem? The toilet's all broken. The toilets aren't broken. What's the problem there, Panda? You're too muscular to use the bathroom now. Lemley has to stick with her applesauce for meals. Wow. So I made a sim that's both a bro and a loner. It keeps saying they want to make a new friend or bro hug someone. But when they meet them, they get tense. And it says they want to be left alone. Nice, Renaissance. See, sometimes the, the not-so-normal personality combinations make for much more interesting sims. Like, I think if I was just creating sims for a Big Brother house challenge, I think I would make a few sims that are mean, or a few sims that have more antisocial tendencies, just to make it more interesting. Sometimes the, the not-so-nice sims are a lot more interesting, or the sims that have some sort of problem with people. Sometimes those sims are a lot more fun to play. <laughs> All right, it's four o'clock. Time for the power of veto competition. The sim I made was a loner, bro, and goofball. Oh, nice. Welcome back, shotgun. All right, it's time for a power of veto competition. We're going to randomly choose one of the competitions from the list. Only six sims will play in this competition. The head of the household, Steve L.A. Sim, the two nominees, Boho Glitch Sim and War Bunny, and three randomly chosen Sims. The winner will be able to veto one of the head of household nominations. Okay, so uh, first let's decide which competition it's going to be. What uh, competition is the power of veto competition going to be? It's going to be a repair test. Give each Sim a broken item of your choice and instruct them to repair it. First one to do it wins. Wow, okay, so, uh, Steve, Boho Glitch Sim, War Bunny, and we're gonna pick three other random Sims to compete in the contest. Uh, so those Sims are going to be, um, uh, Lemley Lemming Sim is gonna compete. Who else? The other sim is going to be uh, GB Simulation. Lemley and GB will compete. And the last competitor will be Panda Peasant Sim. 
So Panda, Lemley, and GB, all of the have-nots are going to be in the competition. Okay, so in the repair test is going to be Steve, uh, War Bunny, Boho Glitch, Panda, Lemley, and GB, all doing the repair test. So let's uh, set up some appliances for them all to repair. Let's put them all on the far end of the field here. Okay, let's make it. Let's make it all toilets. They're all gonna have to fi fix broken toilets. Uh, so let's go to plumbing, and we'll make it a real, real simple toilet too. Like nothing too complex. The ambassador. Uh, so we need six of these. We need six toilets for this competition. Okay, let me see. Six toilets for the competition. Um, okay, let me, uh, I might have to put some testing cheats on to get them broken. Where's my caps lock on? Okay, cheats are enabled. Uh, I can make it dirty, but I want to make it broken. Can I not make it broken using cheats? There's a mod that lets you pee anywhere. <laughs> a must-have, eh? Uh, okay, let's look up Sims 4. Cheats. Broken toilet. Uh, is there a cheat code to make an appliance broken? Yes! Yes, you can have one. Um, here we go. Make something dirty, I can make something clean. Uh, is there a cheat to break an appliance? It comes with Wicked Whims, which is a not safe for work mod, but yeah. Wicked Whims it's called, eh? Spawn object. I don't want to do that. I want to uh, break the object. Is there no cheat to uh, break an object? Fix a household old needs. I think there's a mod that will let you break it. You can always add the gremlins lot trait to the house and let them break stuff overnight. Lauren says, I'm 60% sure. You're 60% sure that there is a uh, cheat code to break objects? I would think so too. Do I have to go into build mode maybe? I, would think, I wouldn't think I'd have to go into build mode. I wouldn't think I'd have to go into build mode to do that. Turn off that. Hmm. Is there a cheat to break stuff in The Sims 4? Yeah, that's what I was uh, doing. Or I thought I was doing. Oh! I lost my... Uh, Pages that I needed. I lost my pages. And get all my pages back.
UPU, thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. Is there a cheat to break stuff in The Sims 4? Purposely breaking objects. If you have this one, you can break electronics with a ghost. Well, that seems like a lot of work, unnecessary work. Uh, you just need to use things to make them break. Really? There's no cheat? Just to automatically make them break? That doesn't make sense. Okay, that's for Sims 2. I don't think that's for Sims 4. That's for Sims 2. I don't know, I don't want this to cheat so it don't work. I don't think there is. Pretty sure there's a mod for it, and there's a couple lot traits which will. Yeah, shotgun can't find anything either. See who will use the treadmill. Yeah, I'm gonna roll for another challenge then. Well, that's too bad. Let's roll for another challenge. That's all right. Another competition. Let's see what we get. Archaeology scholar. Find the archaeology. Dig object. Instruct your Sims to excavate each one. The Sim who digs up the most valuable items wins. No, let's not do that one. Cook off, here we go. Place each sim in an enclosed space and reduce their hunger. Be careful not to reduce it all the way or they will die. Each sim will have their own room with a counter, fridge, and stove. The sim who cooks the highest skill dish at the highest quality wins. The will They will do this autonomously if hungry. If they start a fire, they're eliminated. If they create a poor meal, they are eliminated. If they don't cook and grab a quick meal, they're eliminated. Ah, oh, okay. All right, this should be interesting. All right, well, let's get rid of these toilets. See, now again, if I if my Sims gallery was working, which I don't think it is, we can try it again. I could just quickly download the cook-off area, but... Connect. But l earlier today, I tried downloading stuff, and the Sims gallery was not working. Oh, it's working! Oh, it's so good. Okay. I'm so happy. Holly BBTV. Oh, guys. This is good. Oh, they might be able to do the... We might be able to do the toilet one. Because she might have the... Um, the... No, not item name. Account. Yeah. Cool beard math. Cool, cool beard mate. Is that what you're saying? Ninja fanboy. Welcome to the stream. Um, I want the EA account ID, not the... Oh, this is so exciting! She'll probably have something for the, um, toilet, uh, challenge. I'm so glad the gallery's working. That won't work, yeah. Well, let's see. <laughs> let's see what we get here. Okay, let's see the newest... Lots? Rooms? Most popular rooms from Holly BBTV? Will it find some of her stuff? Oh, I'll be so happy if we do. I mean, if we don't, we'll make it happen, but we'll make it work, but... If it could all be working, I'd be very happy. Because Holly BB uh, pre-makes all the different rooms for the different challenges. So all you, have to, all you have to do is download them from the gallery. But the gallery's been wonky today. It has not been very cooperative. Not cooperative at all. So we might, as, as much as I say that, now watch, it's not going to work now. Now it won't, uh, now the gallery won't function. Or I won't be able to find people by EA account ID. Please. The whole point of doing the Big Brother challenge was that all the challenge stuff is ready. The gallery can kiss my ass. No kidding. 
The whole point of doing this challenge was that all the challenge stuff is pre-made. Am I spelling your name wrong? Holly BB. I think I might be spelling your name wrong. B. She should be coming up. She should be an automatic uh, link on the EA account ID. Let's try the hashtag. We'll try the hashtag HollyBBTV. Yeah, the gallery has been really finicky. See now, Friday I was practicing all this. Going through stuff. Oh wait. Oh wait, why was it why was it okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We got this. I had Maxis curated selected. Holly BB TV. Okay, now it should work. I don't know why I had Maxis curated selected. Hashtag Big Brother Challenges, right? My sim just went fishing, here we go, and caught a 78 pound salmon, then put it in their back pocket like it was nothing, right? Don't you love that? Okay, there's the archaeology scholar cop. Yeah, so we should have it here. Repair test! There we go, we got it! Yes! Repair test is ready to go! Yes! I'm so happy! Okay, so the repair test is ready to go! Alright, so these should all be broken um wait what <laughs> why are they not broken oh did she make the room but you have to have the cheat that makes them broken there must be some mod i'm missing to make them broken there must be a mod that makes them broken that i'm missing okay so let's can i undo that i probably can't can i i probably have to dem demolish that now so she made the room and everything but you need the mod to actually break all the toilets. Oh, so happy that the room was there! Now we gotta demolish it! <laughs> now we gotta get rid of it all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, let's go nuts with the sledgehammer. Break all this down. And let's see if the archeo- uh, I don't know if I like the archaeology one. What was the other one? The other one was cook-off. Yeah, cook-off. Let's do cook-off. Let's do the the cook-off challenge. What? Don't do that. <laughs> I'm talking to the computer. Like, don't do that. Okay, these. why are these tracks still here? These tracks should be done. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's go back to the gallery and let's look for the... Which one was it again? Cooking! Okay, let's hope this works a little better. Let's hope the cooking challenge works a little better. Starry night. Cook off! Here we go. So we need... So these are the individual rooms. Okay. So we need... Six of these individual rooms. It's one... Yeah. Those. Uh, let's get some more money in there. Oops. Mother load. Um. These down. That's three. Four. Five. And then room number six. Here we go. Okay. So let's beam all of our sims into their individual rooms. Let's drop the walls so you can see what they're all doing. Uh, okay, here we go. Power of Veto competition. Let's, um, 
My cheats should be on. So Panda Peasant Sim. Teleport. Is that working? Yeah, teleport there. Lemly Lemming Sim. I'm going to teleport here. War Bunny is going to teleport there. Boho Glitch Sim. What is the mod called that you can do the friendship and lower bars? I think it's called UI Cheats. Interaction, I think. Let's do a teleport here. GB is going to teleport here. And then lastly, Steve L.A. Sim. I'm going to teleport him into this room. All right. Let's see if this works here. Sometimes the cheats work, sometimes they don't work. Okay, pandas in there. Oh, what's she doing? She's floating. What? <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> oh, she's beaming. Look at that. She beamed. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's amazing. Never forget the toilet carnage of 2018. Wow, that was amazing! She like beamed in there! Um, buddy, you're supposed to be... Dude. You're supposed to be cooking food. That was incredible how he beamed in there. Or how she beamed in there. That was pretty good. Teleport there. Beam us up, Mr. Scott. Right? Hey, Glitch, stop napping. We gotta beam into here. Teleport there. Who's singing? <laughs> Someone's singing along. It's very funny. Oh, he's stuck. GB. Teleport there. There you go. Beam yourself in there. Beam yourself into that room. Come on, GB. Make it happen. Oh! Broke a sink. Place that. And then Bunny. Bunny, why aren't you teleporting? Teleport cheat. There we go. Now he beamed in there. Very good. Okay, where is uh, Boho Glitch then? Oh, no, 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 no. You gotta beam in here. Oh, Steve's getting to work. Steve's getting to work making a dish. That puts him as an early favorite. Come on, Boho Glitch. Do your thing. Steve's in the early lead here. He's cooking something. What's the competition say again? It's, um... The sim who cooks the highest skill dish at the highest quality wins. If they start a fire, they're eliminated. If they create a poor meal, they're eliminated. If they don't cook and they grab a quick meal, they're eliminated. Alright. Did you drop their hunger enough? Oh, right, yes. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. 
GB can't perform when you're watching him. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay. Let's see if the MC Command Center gives us a cheat for that. MC cheats. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Change sim mood. Negative mood. Um, no. Is it a cheat here or is it... Um, it's not tuner. Maybe it's on their actual uh, needs. Oh, here we go. Input your desired value. So let's make it... Um, 20 maybe? No? Um, hmm. Minus 20? Um, minus 20 again? Minus 50? Is that what we need to do? There we go. Minus 50, I guess. His hunger's low enough. Uh, War Bunny, his hunger's low enough. Her hunger's low enough. Yeah, they're all they're all a low hunger, so they should they should be good. They should want to eat something at that level. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what they do. I mean, they're all low on hunger, so they should. They should cook something soon. Um, let's see what happens here. Come on, guys. Steve's the only one cooking. Here we go. Looks like Boho Glitch is going to make something. What you doing, Boho Glitch? She's going to cook some butternut gnocchi. She's going to cook some butternut gnocchi. Okay, Steve has made a normal spinach frittata. Okay, so what does that mean? Um, okay, so Steve cooked a normal spinach frittata, so I guess that's a gourmet meal of normal quality. So we'll count that. Wanna... Yep. Frittata, whoa, Steve, normal. Yeah, normal quality for Steve. Um, oh, maybe I need to lower these guys' hunger levels a little bit more even. All right, let's go to Panda. Panda Peasant Sim, let's lower his hunger to minus 80, maybe? Yeah, there we go. And Lemley. Wait, how why is her hunger back up? I thought I lowered it. Minus 80. Steve at minus 80. And then GB at minus 80. Alright guys, go to work. Go to work and eat. Yes, I know you're all hungry. You gotta eat. You gotta cook. Get to work. Get to work cooking something. One of them is tired. Raise the energy. I think Lamb had a quick meal while you weren't looking. Right? Um, well, I see, I don't want to raise their energy because I want that to figure into the challenge. That if they're too tired to make a good quality dish, then, you know, that's really how this is going to work. What is, uh... Oh, she's trying to make butternut gnocchi. Why is she not uh, finishing the meal? Um, why won't they cook? These guys just refuse. They're like, I'm not gonna cook. I'm just not gonna cook, they're saying. I'm gonna let myself starve. Apparently Panda's just going nuts on his phone. Glitch won't, uh, finish her butternut gnocchi. Is it because someone else is trying to use a, a slablet? Is someone else bugging this? Gary's... What's Steve doing? Steve's on his phone. Nope, should be fine. Something's bugged. What's bugged? Okay, let me um, close the command console. Come on, guys. Get to work here. 
Do something. Okay, at least Glitch is finishing her meal. Glitch is finishing her meal. Why won't Panda cook anything? Here we go. Here we go. GB and Lemley are cooking now. Okay, they're cooking. They're going to have to make a quick... Since it's so low, I'm pretty sure. A quick meal. Yeah, let's see. They're cooking now. GB and uh, Lemley are both cooking. But it's this, this bugging that they don't... That they stop every now and then. It's really strange. I don't know why that's been happening with this house. Uh, they just stopped. See, they're all just paused. It's really weird. They just pause in the middle of what they're doing, and they don't move. Like, look, GB is paused here. Something's bugged in the game, and I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is that's... that's bugged so much in the game. That this happens all the time. Oh, GP is going to work. Oh, GP just smacked himself in the face cooking. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Oh, Glitch Sim is cooking. Bunny still doesn't cook. Lemley was cooking. Okay, I mean, I can try, like... I swear it's the game that's bugged them, though. I don't think it's the level of hunger. I think it's the game being bugged somehow. But I'll change her hunger to minus 70. And bunnies to minus 70. Try that. And then pandas to minus 70. And then see whether or not that changes anything. Don't go lower, no. I'm ashamed to be a part of the GB Shotgun Alliance. Now that I've seen GB slap himself. <laughs> One of them has to use the bathroom too, which could be preventing them from cooking. Yeah, possibly. Well, Boho Glitch Sim just made... An excellent quality butternut gnocchi. So right now, she's in the lead. You know what? I think if these guys continue just uh, frittering around and not doing anything, I'm going to have to give the victory to Boho Glitch Sim. Because they are not doing anything. They're just sitting around not taking advantage of the challenge. So let's wait to see what GB does. If GB finishes his dish, which I think he's going to, but the game is just being really buggy. What's GB's problem? He's stuffed up. There's a party inside GB's face with the sole intent of trashing the place. Oh, he's got an illness. GB is sick too. GB has like chicken pox or something. So Steve is eliminated. So get him out of there. Yeah, that's a good point. Let's get uh, Steve out of that room. Um, let's teleport him there. Teleport Steve out of the room. So he's done. Uh, these guys still aren't cooking. Okay, so Steve's out of the room. Wait to see what GB cooks. And then if GB cooks something and the other three aren't started all cooking, let's get uh, Boho Glitch out of there. Go Boho Glitch out of that room. But he made a gourmet meal. You said you didn't want death, but it's about to happen. Yeah. Okay, so Glitch is out of there. Glitch is in the clear. She's out. She can get what she needs. All right, what do we got here, GB? What'd you cook? What did you make? GB has made... Still not quite clear yet. He's still just kind of standing there. Okay, he made a poor quality tofu stir-fry. A poor quality tofu, tofu, I want to say tofu stir-fry, but that's not right. A poor quality tofu stir-fry, stir-fry, stir a poor quality 
Tofu stir fry is not going to do it, GB. GB, you do not win the competition. We gotta get him some medicine too, because he's sick. So I think that makes Glitch. I think Boho Glitch Sim is the winner of the competition with her excellent uh, quality butternut gnocchi. Yeah, Boho Glitch wins the cooking challenge. There we go. All right, she's the winner and she gets to veto herself as one of the nominations for eviction. I love tofu. <laughs> It's tofu. Poor is every quality of tofu. <laughs> okay, give them a bit longer. No, I'm not going to give them a bit. It's going to be too long waiting around for them. They've been at this challenge for a while. And their condition is only going to get worse. Like, Lemley has to sleep. Panda's got to sleep. And Bunny is low on hunger. So if they haven't gotten to it by now, I'm, I'm going to give it to Boho Glitchson. So, she is going to automatically veto herself as uh, a nominee for eviction from the house. Um, okay. If the winner of the veto was a nominee, they'll choose to take themselves off the chopping block. If a nominee is removed from the block, the head of household will choose either a replacement nominee from the removed Sims Alliance or the next sim they have the lowest friendship level with. Okay, so Steve is going to pick the next lowest friendship level he has with someone that he's not in an alliance with. So he is in an alliance with GB, Shotgun, and Boho Glitch. So the next lowest relation... So War Bunny stays on the chopping block. The other next lowest friendship level would be... Uh, it might be Panda. <laughs> Panda's at 34. Panda's at 34, and Gary's at 39. So Panda Peasant Sim is going to be the new nominee on the chopping block for eviction from the household. So it's War Bunny and Panda Peasant Sim are now the nominees. Now we're going to roll a nominee action for each nominee. Okay, so for War Bunny, let's pick a nominee action for him. Big Brother nominee actions. Uh, yeah, Panda, you're on the chopping block now. <laughs> Me and my enemy. Uh, that's right, you and Bunny are on the chopping block. Okay, nominee action for War Bunny. Lay low. This sim knows when to keep their mouth shut. No added conflict. Bunny stays low again. For Panda Peasant Sim. Campaigner. The silver tongue is getting in some ears. Ew. Choose two Sims randomly and increase friendship by 15 points. So Panda Peasant Sim campaigns for himself in order to not get himself eliminated from the house. So we're going to pick two Sims at random and he is going to increase his friendship by 15 points with two of them. Um, so let's put number. The one Sim he's going to campaign with, the first one is going to be... Two, three, four, five. GB Simulation. So Panda's going to increase his relationship with GB Simulation by 15 friendship points. So 15 more. So that'll be 34, 39. 39 will be uh, Panda's new friendship level with GB Simulation. And the other Sim who he's going to campaign with is going to be... Uh, War Bunny. <laughs> so he campaigns with the other Sim uh, who is on the chopping block, War Bunny. So 15 more friendships. Our friendship points, that's 38. 43 is going to be Panda's new friendship total with War Bunny. Not the hot ripped guy. No. <laughs> I know, right? Panda is the hot ripped guy. Look at him. He's got the. The big muscles going on. GB, the real MVP. That's right. Okay, so those are the nominee actions. Um, okay, so then day four is going to be when voting takes place to see who is the first person evicted from the house. Okay, unfortunately, I have to call an end to the stream. I wish I could keep going. 
uh, to keep this challenge going for all of you, but I gotta, I gotta take a break from the stream here. But, um, so next time we stream Big Brother Challenge, we're gonna see who's the first eviction, uh, from the house. So, thanks so much, guys, uh, for sticking around for day one of the Why Would You Want Him Gone, Lauren says. Why would you want Panda Peasant Sim gone? Um, thanks for being here for the first day of our Sims 4 Big Brother Challenge. Uh, if you're not following me on Twitch yet, please drop me a follow here. Venomous Gamer Pro, so sorry I didn't see your follow. I must have been terribly distracted. So sorry about missing that. Thank you for the follow. Uh, thank you for being here. Um, yeah, you're very welcome. Um, if you're not following me on Twitch, uh, please drop a follow now. You can follow me on Twitter at, at @realhutch1975. Uh, you can also join my Discord. I think uh, Nightbot's been dropping the link for my Discord. And when I'm when I'm streaming the next day of the Sims 4 Big Brother Challenge, uh, you'll see it there. You'll get the notice, and we'll see who gets to be the first eviction from our Big Brother house. Anyways, have a great Sunday night. Have a great rest of your weekend. And uh, hopefully we will uh, talk to you soon. Actually, let's see uh, if there's anybody we can raid right now. Let's see if there's anybody online who we can spread the love to. There's not a whole lot of other people online here. Let me refresh my my Twitch page here. There's nobody online to raid. It's like nobody's online today streaming. Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping I could pass on the love uh, to someone else, but um, not a lot of people are streaming today. Well, that's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll go spread the love to someone else at another time. In the meantime, have a great weekend, everybody, and we will talk to all of you soon.